well and I You don't have it anymore? Well, like <gasps> oh, I don't know. I don't know it's going to reach over. I definitely and pull still out have the mine. Album. I remember the last place I saw it, it was at my best friend's house before he moved out of his parents' place and that was like 12 years ago, so I have no fucking clue where it is. Not only do I have the original Mortal Kombat, I also have Annihilation soundtrack, which is not yeah, great, but it's all right. It's all right. I didn't like the remixes that they did. Yeah, it You know what? It, it could have been a worse remix. And with that, I say welcome <laughs> to Geeks with Kids, the bi-weekly geeky podcast from a parenting point of view. I'm your host, Eric. Joining me this week is Steve, uh, Michael, <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Michael, and Marcus. I was going to say show. Sorry. Um, I don't know why. Just, just call me shows. I don't know why I, <laughs> I, I stopped in the middle and my brain was like, uh, I can't remember if I call them shows on this. It, I definitely call you shows. Eric you got do. three steps into a hundred meter dash and then just faced <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. Oh, we started off start. <laughs> starting off strong. So today's main topic is the recently released on May, April 23rd, you know, masterpiece that is Mortal Kombat 2021. Do we like it? Do we hate it? Uh, we'll find out in a couple of minutes. Um, so like we do any other episode, I like to go around the little cyber circle here and ask people what's good. What are they liking? What is your... Thing you're liking. <laughs> Let's go with Hawk first. Hey. Hi. My yum. Yeah. What is your yum? Love you, Matt, Love you, Matt Moore. Hope you get better. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, I feel better, buddy. I'll hail the porcelain throne. I just started watching Solar Opposites, and I love it. It's a great show. Yeah. Um, How far are you in it? Uh, I just finished episode four of season two. I just couldn't stop watching. Have you it. gone? You oh, oh, so you've yeah. seen all of season one. <laughs> yes, I've seen all of season one. Oh, my God. So actually, I don't know this show. What is it? Uh, it's uh, by uh, Justin Roiland and uh, Mike McMahon from Rick and Morty and Lower Decks fame. Uh, it's another definitely in the Rick and Morty vein of humor in that. Mm -hmm. I'd say it goes a level above it. And it is just mm. so bizarre because I'm watching this on the new star on Disney Plus, And I can't believe that's it's even more there. bizarre. <laughs> it is. You know, the, the uh, first season is like it's hard to explain. You no, know, you can give your little. No, that's good enough. No, that's good enough. No, no, I think he sold me on it already. So yeah, you, you have me. It's about aliens, if that yeah. helps. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Yeah, it's fine. It's so good. Check it out. There's a cool. whole there's a whole episode that doesn't even in the first season that doesn't even include them, and it's all done nice. in a little. How do I community? I, 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 I'd love to explain the the B plot for the first season. <laughs> <laughs> no, but don't because it's just all so... that matters is that Andy Daly shows up and he's one of the funniest people alive. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. He's good. I was thinking about the most spoiler free way of of, of explaining it, but um, I didn't realize the second season was on on the star. Yeah, right. It's it's only halfway through its uh, its run right now, so there's still four more episodes to go. Uh, I can't remember what night they're released. The new ones are released, but you know they show up uh, pretty much the next day on the streaming service. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, did you uh, want anyway, to? Yeah, go for yeah, it. Yeah, uh, I guess I, there is this amazing B plot that goes through season one, and that if you think of alien teenagers having this like amazing technology, you know, in the kind of Rick and Morty style and that, you know, and they wanted to start their own amp farm. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. That's, that's a really good way of explaining that. That's I'm picturing they go back in time and get the band alien ant farm and put them in a Just glass bum, house. Bum, 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 <laughs> but because bum, bum, glass bum, magnifies bum, heat from the sun, they all melt. That sounds like a Justin Roiland plot. Into the window. <laughs> Honey, you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay, Eddie? Uh, let's see. Who do we go to now? Mm, uh, David, what are you liking right now? What's your yum? Uh, other than playing a fuck ton of Apex Legends. Yeah, uh, you're playing still, a lot. A lot. Season just finished. Uh, season eight or season nine's about to start or whatever it is. And uh, Eric, uh, Eric Ishii is uh, the new character. Uh, it all ties into Titanfall 2, but more importantly, I've been watching Dimension 20's Escape from the Blood Keep, which it mm -hmm. came out, I think, two years ago, something like that now, but it just came out last year on YouTube, and Brennan Lee Mulligan might be the best DM in the world, period. Mm -hmm. He's so good. He's so funny, and then they've got Matt Mercer, so when you see two DMs get to play off, oh, it's so yeah. good. Like, it, I hit the 90-minute mark, and I laughed out loud for minutes and would I kept going back and watching the same scene over and over and over again. Um, so I, it's, it's actually something you will laugh out loud at instead of being like, Hmm, 
you will yeah it is fucking hilarious. like i'm on episode four of six so i think there's like maybe 13 hours of it um and i started yesterday hmm i was watching something with matt mercer not too long ago what was, was it? it critical role or was it mythica three or something like that it was a he was an animated character oh he's in justice society world war Two. The uh, the new DC animated movie. He, he was just in something else I was watching, actually. He plays Our Man. And I was like, I know this voice, but I don't know why. It's Matt Mercer. Our Man? Yeah. Cool. He's a guy who... Um, he's a DC character who created this serum that gave him like super strength and all these powers, but it only lasted an hour at a time. <laughs> Our <It's so> <laughs> Our Man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a year for our, for our age, honestly. I... <laughs> We're we're busy. We're busy people. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, he's he's like a really that actually is an old character, right? Yeah. Like he's an actual golden age. Character, There's been right? three yeah. different hour men apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So the the <laughs> As first DC likes to do the one I was describing was the first hour man. I don't know if they changed it later on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I feel like they would have kept that. Know. They would have kept that kind of stupid quality because that is so now. You know, like yeah. that would be the. Well, that, it's, that it was all about the right GSA, so they were like all old time heroes. Not all of them. Wonder Woman was there. Anyway, Marcus, what are you up to? What are you liking? Uh, well, speaking of old time heroes, I started watching Invincible on uh, <gasps> Prime, and I, it's all because of Hawk. Because like the, the time I heard him talking about it, I was just like, okay, that sounds kind of cool. I didn't, I didn't know about this show. Uh, oh my god, I can't wait for more. It is so good. They did a good job <laughs> adapting it. Uh, oh, shit, how, how, how many episodes was it in? When I was like, Hawk, you have to watch this show. Was it the first episode? Oh. I can't remember. Or no, is it I the think second? I, I I tuned in. I think when the night it, it premiered, mm-hmm. uh, or maybe the set, like the day after. Uh, so I was because I messaged you as soon as I was watching it. I was like, yeah, you, you have, have to, to watch, watch the show. This. You have to watch the show, and those are, those show up as red alerts on my phone now. So. <laughs> the real talks. I'm like, talk to shows of real talk. You have to watch this now. Warrior, invincible. Um, okay, yeah, I need to see Warrior. Like you teased me with that first opening to Warrior, and now I'm dying to watch. And the they rest. renewed but it. I, they renewed yeah, it. For have, oh, I don't have ex- access to we, we HBO will, crap. We, we will so give you access to this. We need to. I need yes. to get that because you God, I want to watch that show. Access. Oh my God! But Invincible, yeah. like that last Invincible, episode. so good. Oh my God, the characters are brilliant. The <sighs> yeah. voice acting is great. Voice acting is great. Um, the animation is really cool. I love the animation. Like I really love it. It's, I like it's, too. It, yeah. So all in all, just a, a brilliant little show, and I can't wait for more because God, that. You... I, I blasted through that in like one night. Man, one night of Invincible. You Age. have no idea where it's headed to. It's so good. <laughs> like, it, like no, the show is so good. Um, the comic as well. Um, oh my god. And the voice, like the voice cast- casting, was perfect. Just yeah, perfect. J.K. Simmons rules. He could yeah. play oh, yeah. that in real life. Mm-hmm. Like, I it, feel like he could. Did you see the like they did a, a Boss Logic version yep. of like Henry Cavill and I'm like, yeah, it looks good. Cool. He also did but... what's his name from Parks and Rec. Um, uh, Chris Pratt, uh, no Nick Offerman, Nick Offerman, Nick Offerman. yeah, which also works. Uh, like uh, again, would be really cool. But I honestly think J.K. Simmons is just the man. He's also <laughs> just, built like a tank, like that. He man. is for for Batman for like Commissioner Gordon. He got jacked for some yeah. reason. I don't yeah. know, but well, it's amazing. Yeah, you know, he had to turn on that light. It's yeah, a big switch. Like, <laughs> if, if they would pay you to get jacked, you'd get jacked too. Yeah, it's true. Hell yeah. If Kumail Nanjiani would do it, you'd, anybody would. Oh my do. God. Okay, seriously, man crush. He's he's just hot. He, he's like, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> anyone can do this. Did you see the post when he uh, showed that picture for the first time of him with O's shirt? And yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. You, you'd be able to do this too if you had like yeah. millions of dollars of <laughs> yeah. trainers and stuff. Like, oh. And time. <laughs> and time, yeah. yeah. Um, Rob, Rob McElhenney of uh, It's Always Sunny did the same thing. He was like, if I can convince the studio so I can get ripped for the show. And then he did. And then and then that, and then that the one same season? Thing. Well, because he got, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the Cultivating Mass season where he had diabetes. I just started <laughs> watching. <laughs> I just started watching that show. Because of David, uh, and, and I'm, I I love it. I'm about three quarters yeah. through the first season. I, I th- thought it was like Seinfeld for the year two thousands, basically. Like that's what it felt. I like could see to that. Me. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go over to Steve. He looks super happy. Let's uh, let's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what are you liking right now? Uh, I started um, a project in January because there was a movie called Boss Level that came out, which was like a kind of a Groundhog Day action movie. Um, that's awesome. With, um, with uh, Mark Grillo. Grillo, or, right? Yeah, yeah. 
So I started thinking, you know what would be kind of fun because we're all stuck at home and we're just repeating the same day. Why don't I create a movie list for um, Groundhog Day style time loop movies specifically? And uh, <laughs> I finally actually got my act together and put it together and collected about 50 that I'd been slowly whittling 50? down. Damn. And, uh, I would like to see started, that list. I started on Wednesday and I've watched 18 or 19 movies since <laughs> since four days ago. Uh <laughs> Oh wow! Uh, anyway, this, this movie is a sixth I, cast. Oh, that's a great. No, I, I I do recommend box level. Um, I'm gonna. I've been adjusting the list as I've discovered some are not actually time loop movies, and I'm not just doing time movies. They have to have a time loop, and uh, and it's been fun. Um, I don't know if it's good for me, but um, it's interesting. I um, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what day it is right now, or anything but because you're in a time good. loop yeah <laughs> it's actually yesterday holy crap this this cast no is idea. incredible does your list include primer yes yeah yeah mm -hmm. no I'll, I'll uh i'm okay. gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna work on the list and clean it up so that it's the best as well as legitimate time loop movies but yeah the ones i've um enjoyed so far uh i really like boss level i, I started with groundhog day Obviously. Uh, boss level was a lot of fun i'd never actually seen edge of tomorrow that one was Ooh. you know what it was oh to so fun. good I liked it. uh that one was good uh happy death day i also had just recently uh oh. that one worked very well as well um i liked happy death day it was good yeah i never watched I, it. I, I, maybe uh next week when i'm more prepared to discuss it I'll, I'll give you guys a better top list but yeah it's it's been it's been fun it's been neat sort of like looking at how they all kind of juxtapose that that simple mechanism, but then like are able to apply it, you know, in different ways. And mm. um, there's been yeah, the ones 50, I've mentioned... there's been 50 movies made with that kind of plot device, like the well, same day repeating. Not exactly. There's basically two types of time loop movies. There's one where the entire movie is actually one loop, but it's pausing itself. So versions of the character will already have instigated the events that establish the loop hmm. so you really only get to see one loop right like, like a, i haven't seen Tenet, oh, no so i haven't seen it yet either works. okay yeah. so hopefully that doesn't ruin it it's like um, source code it doesn't. Source, <laughs> source code no oh, source? actually i haven't i haven't gotten to source code yet so i don't know that's if that the same day process. with from different yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a surprisingly yeah. good film uh it's source it's code's interesting that, yeah it's yeah. yeah. that premise I don't want to ruin any movies that actually use that one day loop because unfortunately that generally is the twist, you know, and then there's a bunch of Groundhog Day type movies like Happy Death Day and Groundhog Day and Boss Level. And those are all very yeah. straight up. You know what's happening. Oh, but, wait. Source code. He changed uh, different people, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he changes the different people. I don't know if it. Anyway, I don't want to. I haven't watched it's it. It's still yet. good. I would still watch it. Yeah. 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 It's have on you, my list. It's on my list. Have, have you watched the movie Next with Nicolas Cage? With the yet. double I'm X? Not sure if that one's counted. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure it counted, so it's it's a weird one because the whole thing is it's the whole movie is a loop itself. Like it it's okay, it, okay, it, it is. It's, but all again, right. it's it's the it's the the reveal is it was all one big loop. Okay, kind of okay. like it was all a dream kind of shit. Yeah, um, cool, cool. The the only the, it's not a good movie. movie. It's not a great <laughs> That's movie. Okay. The only That's reason okay. I I mention it and I it sticks in my mind forever is because I believe Nicolas Cage produced directed and starred in it oh, or at least like oh, right. produced and it. and starred in it <laughs> and then chose jessica beale to be his love interest yes. and it is the it is the creepiest fucking thing i've ever seen because in no way shape or form do the two of them look like they have any chemistry in no yeah. way shape or form does it look like this woman would ever actually go for this version of nicholas cage and the way he gets her is because he's got this power where he can go five minutes into the future and like go back five minutes if he made a mistake so he just keeps hitting on her, striking out, but he just keeps doing it over and over again, like a thousand times, until yeah. he finds the right way to do it. And I'm like, it's like in Groundhog Day. Yeah. It is, it is, it is exactly the same thing, but it's creepier because of Nicolas Cage. He did not direct <laughs> that movie, by the way. Well, you, you you sold you sold me on that one. Okay, yeah, that's the you thing. Got, I've been looking, yeah. I've been looking this stuff up. <laughs> But I've been finding recommendations that as I've watched the movies, I'm like, this isn't actually a time loop movie. So sometimes it's like, I don't want to spoil it for myself, but that's good to know. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll add next on there because I, I had it in my sort of lower. So yeah, to, sorry to answer Hawk's earlier question. I have 50 movies prepared, but I don't know if they're all actually time loop movies. I would say at least 30 of them are solid Groundhog Day clones. <laughs> and then maybe five are... Uh, single loop movies, but then the rest could just be random time uh, time 
travel movies or not even. So we'll to see. to make the next thing even sadder, it's based on a Philip K. Dick. Yeah, uh, Golden Man. Yes, I know. Book. That was during a very bad spate where all these uh, <sighs> like all really of them bad movies. Yeah. Yeah, remember Paycheck? That was yeah. around the same they're time. They're either amazing oh, or they're paycheck. terrible. Because we either get Blade Runner and the Adjustment Bureau, or we get... Oh, the Adjustment paycheck Bureau was around this time, too, yeah. I no, think the paycheck? Adjustment Bureau is actually really good. Yeah. The, I the, 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 is that a time loop movie or not? Um, it, I'd it say has it's a something memory to, loop movie? Yes, yeah, it has something to do with changing uh, a past event. It's more like oh, Total yeah, Recall, than it, which is another Philip K. Dick, but... Uh, yeah. But it's more like Total Recall than time travel. And you're in yeah. prime Ben Affleck time, too. <laughs> 2003? You know, yeah. I've only ever that. seen one movie that has accurately like depicted a Philip K. Dick novel without major revisions or changes in that. That was a Scanner, Scanner Darkly. Darkly. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I was just yep. telling my girlfriend about that because that movie's so good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's so, it does the book perfectly. It is. It does. Um, so we're, we're down to shows. Shows. Tell us your test your mic or whatnot. <laughs> or, yeah, that, that's actually kind of fitting because what I was going to mention is um, I realized that I'd been sitting around a lot, really not doing much. And I was like, okay, it's a new, you know, we're, we're just swinging into May. It's a new month. It's the spring. I'm going to start exercising and I'm going to do it video game style. And I'm going to dust off my, uh, uh, the um, ring fit, ring, my, my ring con. And I'm going to play <laughs> ring fit on my, on my Nintendo switch. I love that and, thing. Yeah, and and I remember um, Eric, you were playing it quite a bit. I think last year because you were posting regularly when you had all. And then the... everyone stopped, and I was like, "I'm doing this by myself." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "I'm going to get into this," but they've actually done a bunch of up updates on the game. They've added like a rhythm mode to it where you can just do dancing and stuff, and they've uh, they've added some more customizable modes and things. I'm still playing through the story, but uh, it's it's a surprisingly good workout. I'm finding myself just like after fighting a few bad guys and, and and get taken down a boss yeah build up quite the sweat for sure so i'm having fun with that i like that you can uh you can customize your workout to make it like more yoga -y or more mm -hmm. more cardio based on what you can do um based on your abilities like currently i have i still have this shoulder issue right with my um uh what's this called rotator cuff issue um it's hurt anyway um okay. but like squeezing the ring kong and hurts because I can't really do that motion yeah uh, for too long so I can do more of the yoga moves with it but I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to use my ring fit <laughs> yeah I I, I I had gotten it for Christmas in 2019 yeah as a gift played it maybe twice put it away <laughs> and I remember when I, when I turned it on a few days ago it was like Hey, welcome back for your third day of exercise. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like my it's like my Animal Crossing people. They're like, where the F have you been? <laughs> it's been months. People have died here. We had to bury a bunch of us. Oh god. <laughs> I'm actually the descendants of your previous animals. <laughs> Like a pit boy. <laughs> I like my villagers too. I wonder what they're up to. I'm sure everyone's dead. I'm not sure. Oh, I've been yeah. playing a ridiculous amount of that game still too. So uh, you're I always know. welcome to hop back in and and visit the old <laughs> island. If we'll you want see, to. we'll see. Because right now I'm. Are oh, you done? Sorry, I, I was just gonna jump over you. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Well, I uh, I was gonna say my thing was gonna be invincible, and you know I love Ring Fit and all, but I have this now. Oh, oh you son of a bitch! Week. You Haven't son you of a bitch! For three weeks, oh, Eric. You're, you this a jackass. Now. You're a, you're a freaking <gasps> jackass. Oh, yeah. So my uh, my Oculus came today. That's the device that allows Facebook to look directly into your eyeballs. Uh, it is. You know what? My phone does that already for them, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. But it I got also my... makes porn amazing. We'll find out later. Um... <laughs> What do you mean we? <laughs> I mean, no. Oh, no, you're all coming along this. on this magic voyage. <laughs> we're gonna stream. Screen. We're gonna Stop stream. Screen. We're gonna stream this on OBS. <laughs> geeks with kids. And that's how geeks with Ge kids got banned from. Goes the dark. <laughs> geeks with porn. Oh man. Um. But yeah, I I tried it today. Just um. The I got it earlier today, so I charged it, which took like two and a half hours, and I was sad. Um. But I was taking pictures of it while I was charging, obviously. <laughs> But um, I I tried out all the 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 it's it's wireless, so it doesn't have to hook up to my computer. Um, but I can if I wanted to, and I I just did all the intro stuff, and it is oh my god, it's so good. I have a giant head though, so it's like 
I can't wear my glasses with it. These glasses are too wide. So oh. I've been, I had to wear contacts with it, oh. unfortunately, um, which yeah, is fine. This is the only real issue, I think, with VR. It came with a glasses like spacer, us. like it would work, but my glasses are just too big because mm-hmm. um, I have a big head. <laughs> but <laughs> it's cool. Like I, I did a Jurassic Park thing with it. I just like a dinosaur was walking with me. That was neat. It was free. Oh. I'm going to get, uh, because it's Star Wars Day tomorrow, there's all these Star Wars sales, so I'm just going to get... Uh, shut up, shut up, you asshole. I'm going to get Vader Immortal <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> mm, yes, VR. And then, obviously, because I've been playing with Blender and a bunch of 3D programs, apparently you can connect it to do 3D modeling, and that just... Oh, that there's just, like, yeah, there's got- 3D draw things you can, you can mm-hmm. like... You you have to let me know how how like how intuitive that is and like how good you can really like how good work. Yeah, like oh it's yeah. weird. Like I can't speak, but these so mad these controllers <laughs> are neat because of the ring, um, and because of the touch sensors on it, they can tell if you're just touching it or not if your fingers are up. So yeah. when your hands are not actually on it, you're if you're if you have a <laughs> hand, it's like that. But if you just place it on the buttons, it'll close your hand. And then each oh. button does a, a motion and stuff. It's so cool. A little bit of extra sensitivity. I'm not touching VR until you have to buy a vat and fill it with Nutrigu and you just suspend <laughs> your, like, Luke. I, I cannot wait till we get to that uh, Assassin's Creed type thing oh, where you just... Yeah, you just, like... <laughs> just watch your live. ancestors fucking? Like, nobody wants that. I don't... No. I don't want that part. I just want to live in other people's lives. Um, anyway. Uh, so... Like we do every week, we're going to talk about the news. There's not much news this week, so really I only want to talk about one thing, and that actually came out today. Um, Marvel released this video on their YouTube page called Marvel Celebrates the Movies, and it is a three-minute and ten-second video that, you know, is sort of celebrating people going back to the movies because, you know, people are getting vaccinated, so it's starting to get safe. So they did this whole thing about the last ten years, then Stan Lee narrating... (laughs) <laughs> this whole experience about how everyone is family and it's just a beautiful video. And then they're like, you know what? We're looking forward to things to come. And they started just showcasing everything for the next phase. And um, <laughs> so it started with the um, we get Black Widow, which is in July. Then the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings trailer, which is or not trailer, but they showed clips from it for September. And then. They showed the first footage for The Eternals, Eternals. which is coming out in November. We'll talk about that in a second because I love The Eternals. And then we got the title cards for Spider-Man No Way Home for December 17th, 2021. The title card for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness for March 25th, 2022. And then the title card for Thor Love and Thunder for May 6th, 2022. Then people assumed it would stop, but no, it continued with Black Panther Wakanda Forever July 8th, 2022. Captain the Captain Marvel sequel, which is now called The Marvels, November eleventh, twenty twenty two. Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania, February seventeenth, twenty twenty three. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, May fifth, twenty twenty three. And then they teased the logo for the Fantastic Four right at the end. Oh, what did you guys think of this video? I didn't realize it was going to be so long until Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. long time because that seems like it, it was setting up the villain for the next because it's got Kang and it seemed like that was going to be the thing. I assume Eternals is going to set up the villain. Who um, knows? Maybe there'll be multiple layers of villains. It may not just be a single mm, villain. This I mean, maybe time, this know, phase whatever. will be unlike any of the other phases as well because they're it's, introducing way more stuff than they've inter- ever introduced. It's, yeah, well, it's they've, way more they've space. got a lot more control now. Yeah, they've, they've got the television side of it too, so they can really take their time, you know, like it's a little easier for them now. So, oh, yeah. I, um, also, sorry, go to, to go off that, the um, Captain America, not Captain America, well, I'll say Captain America and the White Wolf series writers. Um, Said said that um, they were gonna put that as a title card at the end of the series, which was oh they should have yeah they should have because yeah. it's not the Winter Soldier anymore. Um, That's right. No. They were saying that there's a bunch of projects that are also in that slate for Phase Four that they haven't announced. So mm, th- you yeah. saw that there are gaps in there. Um, yeah. <laughs> now you may know why. The shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I think that's great. I uh, I've been avoiding trailers largely, so I actually didn't check this out until literally just before we went on, and uh, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, it's like a like a celebration, and yeah, no, oh. it's it's it is it's it's a nicely, it's a very saccharine, but you know, I, I liked it, you know, and and it, yeah, it was nice to sort of remember, you know, what they were trying to push, like this whole like, yeah, you 
you go to the movies to get away and to share something. You know, yeah. To enjoy what, something. Yeah. When they showed the the audience reaction for audience Endgame, reaction, yeah. I just it like memories just flood yeah. back to when you like mm-hmm. I saw it with Marcus. I'm pretty sure yeah. we saw this together. Didn't we? Yeah. Yes, we did. It was just everyone yeah. crying and cheering. I think I Hawk, you were there too. To weren't the you? Yeah, I seat. was there too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I saw like those two movies, uh, Infinity War and Endgame, four or five times each, and every single time the audience was just silent. You mm-hmm. know, like it was just the whole audience was like gripped. Yeah, you know, right until on your experience. left, and then you hear the gas, yeah. and yeah. then it's just oh my god, yeah. I'm getting goosebumps yeah. right yeah. now thinking about yeah. it. <laughs> no, both both so those cool. movies just had so much power over like everyone who was in those theaters. It was it really was an amazing moment. Mm-hmm. Sure. So yeah, but uh, but yeah, then they started going into the other stuff, and I was like, oh yeah, okay, this is the real reason they're they're doing this because they gotta like get out, get everyone all excited. But you know what, I I I I don't want to sound sarcastic about it. I am actually looking forward to it, and it was exciting to see all those extra cards come up. I would so, rather have that than like don't I don't want to see any more trailers. That was perfect. Like they yeah. showed just yeah, enough the Eternals to go. Else. Okay, those are the people in the movie. Now you can decide whether oh you want to see God. the movie or not. Don't tell me yeah. anything else, right? Yeah, it's enough for me. I mean, you guys will be watching the trailers. I'm, I'm out. I'm, 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 I was going to watch all that <laughs> stuff anyway. It doesn't matter. I never needed to see any trailers. But I, I'll I probably am, watch the first nice trailer for the Eternals, and that's it. Because the Eternals I, is my favorite uh, group. It's my favorite storyline, the Neil Gaiman one from the nice, mid two thousands. Nice. So we assume like, it's I'm, that story. We don't know. Oh no, I don't. I don't think it is actually. Um, but I. Oh man. Oh. Like all the Marvel stuff, they're going to take the best bits of whatever they saw and they're going to put it into one movie and you're going to go, wow, that was really good. Yeah, I'm fine with that. How did they do that? Hey, hey, it takes skill to do that, which we'll be discussing very soon. (laughs) The other topic. It's not that easy. Don't don't make it sound like it's that easy. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I thought all the Street Fighter movies were excellent. I completely forgot what my point was now. Uh, so oh, yeah, I was going to say, I actually haven't even seen the Shang-Chi trailer because you guys have been raving about it. And I'm you like, should well, watch fine. it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go oh. see it anyway. I don't care. Also, I found yeah. out it's Shang-Chi, not yeah. Shang. Um, really? Yeah, I, Simo I just learned that from hearing you say that for the first time here, Eric, and I'm like, oh, I oh, think geez. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Yeah, I've been saying it wrong. Yeah, well, we've only been reading has. it, right? So how do we yeah. know? Yeah. I don't but, think the, the well, that's what happens when you anglicize. ever? No, not that I can recall. That's yeah. the shitty thing about anglicizing anything from a different alphabet, right? Like, yeah, it just yeah. doesn't doesn't work. Simu Liu um, for Asian uh, something this week. There was a, some sort of celebration. A- a- Asian thing. Heritage Week, right? Is it Her- Asian Heritage? I think it is. Yeah. The start of Asian Heritage Month, I think. Um, he did all the pronunciation uh, pronunciations for his his name uh, for Shang Chi oh, cool. and a bunch of other things. So that was really cool of him. Cool. Because now nice. we're gonna be those fucking nerds going. Um, actually. It's Shang Chi, uh, <laughs> but we'll find out as soon as they start saying it in the movie trailers. Yeah. In the movie, um, for, so I I watched this th- like that. Th- I actually thought I was watching the wrong trailer at first because like it <laughs> popped up on my on my Facebook feed or something, and it, I was just like, oh, is this like a fan made thing? Because like I just I you know I hear the mm, voiceover sure. going, but I see all these clips of old movies and stuff, and I'm like, what what the hell am I watching? So I turned it off the first time. But then uh, somebody else posted it, and they, I kept seeing the same image pop up. And then you guys posted it. I'm like, oh shit, maybe that was the right thing. So I rewatched <laughs> Turned it. Turned it off. It's three minutes long. <laughs> you couldn't stand three, three minutes. minutes. I do not have You're three a busy minutes. man. <laughs> Marvel already made it as do. short as they possibly could. For- <laughs> I ha- I had to get to watching Mortal Kombat. <laughs> that was important. The tech, yeah. Anyway, a, yeah, I watched um, that movie three times. Okay. Oh. Um, oh, no, no, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, um, I, I, I'm, I'm of the mindset where, 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 you know, I, I 100% trust Marvel and Disney to make these things amazing. They have not done wrong so far. They've done amazing work. I know I'm going to like almost everything that they put out. I'll like some things more than others. I'm very excited for Shang-Chi. Um, but I, when I saw the four at the end, I got really excited for a second. I was like, Ooh, but then I also got really worried and really scared because I've, I like, I was talking to, uh, to my buddy about this today. And uh, I was just like, is it, would it be better for them to just introduce like the fantastic four characters on their own slowly? Like let, let us decide whether we like their versions of the characters before they just go balls deep into another fantastic four movie again. I hope they show up. 
I hope they show up in the universe yeah. before they become. Oh, so do I. Out. That's what I'm. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping because again, I I trust that they know what they're doing. I trust <laughs> no, the, that the fourth or fifth. Great. The fourth or fifth uh, time is going to be the charm there. <laughs> that's the, that's the, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? Like it's just like we we've, we've seen fourth. this. I feel like we this. I feel like we're in a fucking time loop. See, I just fi- this I figured it movies. out. I figured it out. It's not going to be Mr. Fantastic. It's going to be Wolverine. It's going to be She Hulk. It's gonna oh, be it's, it's gonna be it's that version Spider Man or whatever. What, like the future, it's gonna be Batman, Future Foundation. Future Foundation. Oh right? my god! How good with that? Just to fuck with everybody. Like, here's your fantastic. Oh, it's not them. Uh, I, would I would actually be down, I I would totally be down with that. I would totally be down with that. I would love that. The full white suits but, and everything. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I'm sure Mark, I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great. Yeah. No. No, Marcus. I totally agree. I can understand your apprehension, but I remember like when this whole thing started way back when, and I thought like, oh man, Iron Man, that was really good. And they were like, oh, we're going to do Thor. And I'm like, Thor. I don't know. Yeah. How can you do? Mainstream. How are you going to make a rainbow bridge cool? They got Kenneth Branagh. That's how they got a fucking Shakespearean. Shakespearean And then then they nailed it. And then the one after that, I can't remember. I think it was like Dark World. It was like Guardians, or it was something else. Guardians. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're yeah. going to fuck it up now. And then by the time they got to Doctor Strange, I was like, no, I think they've got it. I think they're good. <laughs> yeah. But ever since yeah. then, like, but there's always been one movie where I was like, this is going to kill it. This is going to destroy it, you know? So, yeah, because yeah, well, they didn't even mention uh, Blade or all the other things they oh, had yeah, announced sure. earlier. Oh, yeah, Blade? I'm, I'm, I'm down for Blade. Hell yeah, I'm going to love that. Oh, OG um, Silent on Twitch said they will redo the origin story. Uh, no, they uh, won't. Yeah. They didn't do it for they Spider-Man. Know. They're not going to do it for this. Hopefully, um, yeah. the, the, see, my my biggest concern and the, my basic biggest excitement is I am still waiting to see Doctor Doom done right on the big screen, because yeah, I've fucking hated all of the renditions that I've seen so far. They keep the fucking Corbin it up. Looks pretty good. I mean, the, you can't hear a word he says, but he's he looks <laughs> the, even even but, the like, one. There's, from... there's, a, there's a difference between like looking cool for a split second. It's like, yeah, you look cool right now. That's great. But if that character can't hold. You know what we need? We need we need gravitas to to keep that you character think going. The cosmic rays are your ally. Oh, Tom Hardy <laughs> is Doctor oh, Doom. Tom Hardy. Yes, <laughs> that's the. I would that's love that. that. Right. When I was thinking the mask thing, I was like, oh man, that's what. <laughs> I was I was born in this I mask. Did not see the Fantastic Four when I was a man. <laughs> um, have you guys seen the that? Uh, uh, I don't remember who put it out. I think it was Ryan Reynolds, but it was that's always Sunny cast as the Fantastic Four. Yeah, I've seen that. Glenn that's Howerton cool. plays such a psychotic person in It's Always Sunny. He would actually be a perfect because he's actually obsessed with his appearance too. So he actually make he would be a really good Doctor Doom. <laughs> he's a good actor. He's a yeah. very good actor yeah. too. Uh, OJ says I just, I just, because I no one knows it yet, so maybe that's why they're being doing sar- OG obviously for... being sarcastic. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Damn. Honestly, <laughs> they won't redo the origin. After it's hard to say because I think the movie, the property's kind of gotten a bit screwed up because of the last movie. Like if people remember the the previous version, the the Alba version, will be oh, fine. Yeah. They wouldn't need to. But the problem is the last one. Well, I don't know. I think the last one was like so uh, popular. I yeah, so saw it. They probably had it, no in. Uh, fan I have a feeling. I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling, though, because there is, like, and I don't want to get into this because I've managed to avoid a lot of information, but because they are approaching, like, this multidimensional kind of concept, they'll probably pull, like, a a tongue-in-cheek gag, you know, maybe refer to the two versions that existed before. (laughs) Oh, they better. There there should be a picture of Chris Evans. Maybe. But that would be a good way to sort of solve, like... If they're going to do the first family, it shouldn't even be the Human Torch, right? It should be, uh, what's the other, it was the robot or whatever it was. The Human Torch, the, but it was yeah, a robot. The human torch, yeah, mm-hmm. but it's not. Oh, oh, oh the first uh, human it's torch. Not Johnny for... Storm. It's the robot. Yeah. <laughs> so I've there? never seen any of the Fantastic Four movies. Good. Any of them? <laughs> what? Any of them? I've never had any Fine. interest. You know, I consider uh, myself a fan of comic Oscar book movies, but I've never seen any You've missed out on. Oh my god. <laughs> I've heard they're all really bad. But <laughs> Silver <laughs> Surfer like... was such a cool character to see on screen, and he got um, voiced so, by. So, so, Silver was Surfer up. was uh, what's his name? Doug Jones. Doug and yes. He's fucking phenomenal. Okay, Doug but Jones he was is amazing. Voiced yes. by uh, Lawrence uh, Fishburne. Fishburne. Yeah, and that was great. Yeah, that, that was, was the actually only the good only, part of that movie. Maybe it, yes, one hundred percent. Only good thing. But the are you guys recommending that I that I see any of them, or is there nope, one I should watch? Or nope, no, don't bother. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait for Marvel to do it. Just wait for Marvel to do it. Okay. Yeah. You know what sucks is that fan fourth stick, the last one. 
Yeah, had Deadpool such good the last one had such good potential, and the cast was really good, but it was just garbage. Like you could tell where there was a point where they're just like, "We're gonna take this movie away from the director." In like mm-hmm. when you're watching it, and just fuck with the whole thing, and you're like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, the story behind the movie is is a lot better than the film. There's so much stuff that happened behind the scenes, and and I mean, there was also a bit of a desperation there because Fox had already lost. Uh, rights to Daredevil, and they were like, "Oh shit, we gotta like maintain our rights to Fantastic Four. So it was a little bit of a cynical kind of project to begin with. Like they just needed to get something out, mm-hmm. and they didn't really plan it out properly. The whole thing was was a mess. So the 2005 anyway. movie gets the tone right, but it doesn't. Yeah. It's just not a good deliver. movie. Just yeah. doesn't yeah. deliver. No, yeah. I, I liked I liked I liked the previous cast. Uh, yeah. I thought they were they were all fun. I thought they they understood their characters, but yeah, mm-hmm. the movies were not. Michael B. Jordan have... was so good as uh, Johnny Storm too. Yeah, it's too bad. But he was even better in Black Panther. So you know. Yeah, I, well, I'd like to say that the MCU <laughs> is where like all the actors who failed as superheroes in other universes get to redeem themselves. Yeah, <laughs> true. It, it seems that way. I thought Chris Evans was fine in Push. I like Push. Uh, that was a good movie. Anyway, that's um. What did you guys think of the uh, oh, the new title for Black Panther? Now Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Um, oh, I'm very excited. Still not sure how they're gonna do it, but I'm curious. Yeah, I'm yeah. curious yeah. too. Yeah. Um. Then Captain Marvel got turned into the Marvels, which makes sense with um, you yep. know, Ms. Marvel, Marvel and Photon Mala. as well. Uh, and then uh, we got cool. we knew everything else. I love the logo for the new Guardians of the Galaxy, like with the with the sound for, with Volume Three. Damn, they're so good. Well, he has a Zoom now, so we have to, you know, move <laughs> into the, the modern era of of audio. It's fair, fair. Um, and and titles. Yeah. So, any other final thoughts on this before we move to our happy topic of the night? The main topic. So today we are talking about Mortal Kombat 2021. Although I'm sure we'll talk about the previous iterations. The film was released on April 23rd, 2021 um, on HBO and uh, in theaters and a bunch of other streaming services. Yeah, as you well. can rent it. Yeah. Yes. On Google. Rent or not Google, own uh, or whatever. Um, it was directed by Simon McQuoid, uh, and it was written by Greg Russo, Dave Callahan and Oren Uziel. And it stars... <clears throat> Lewis Tan as Cole Young, Jessica McNamee as Sonya Blade, Josh Lawson as Kano, Joe Taslim as uh, Sub Zero, Mahat McCad Brooks as Jax. Um, man, I'm not gonna say those people; they're not important. <laughs> <laughs> Tadanobu Asano as Lord Raiden. It was it was um, Cole's family. <laughs> Hiroyuki Sanada as Scorpion. Oh, the best. Chin Han as Shang Sun. Ludi Lin as Liu Kang. Max Huang as Kung Lao, and uh, those were the most important people in the movie. So, <laughs> this movie, unlike other the other Mortal Kombat movies, is is a uh, is a uh, is weird. Um, do sh- it diverges. Yeah, it diverges. Should we do this as a roundtable? Do you want me to go over the synopsis, or do we? I just think want we to should start? either let Steve go off first, or that we have to <laughs> save that for last. It's it's got to be it one or the matter. other. It well, doesn't matter. Oh, this is, I'd this like is to a spoiler film. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go, this is a spoiler episode. We will talk about the whole film and what we Spoilers like, what we for didn't a like. movie where people just beat the shit and... out of each other the whole time. Well, there's story yeah. points, I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, see, that's, that's, that's what matter? I want to know. I want to see how you synopsis this movie. Cause... Okay. You know why I can do this? Because I saw the um, pitch meeting. Done, <laughs> so okay. I can, I can do this really well. So this movie that starts. That was the most accurate thing ever. Like that yeah. was so perfect. Anyway. So I'm going to really sum it up right now. I can probably do it in a couple sentences. The movie starts off in mid 16th century uh, Japan, mid 16th century, 1600s. Yeah. Feudal Japan. Feudal Japan. Feudal Japan anyway. Feudal. Um, uh, uh, Scorpion is there with his family. This is pre. Uh, no, he is. Uh, this is pre being turned into um, Anzo. So, Anzo Hasashi. Anzo. Okay, I will get the real the names. Shirai Ryu. So Hanzo's there with his family. <laughs> like that. He goes off to get water for his family. Oh, he's right there. And uh, Bihan, who is a assassin, comes and kills everyone in his clan, including his family. <clears throat> freezes everyone. Luckily, um, Hanzo's son hid. Their daughter in the floorboards. Anyway, a really 
a really awesome fight between Joe Taslim and Hiroyuki Sonata happens uh, where we get to see some really good choreography shot. Mm, all right. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, Sub-Zero or Bihan kills <laughs> everybody. everybody. Hanzo. He kills him. And then he, what's well, my favorite part of this scene is, is that uh, Bihan is talking in, in Mandarin. Is the Mandarin or Chinese? They, I, think I think they Mandarin, said Chinese yeah, and Mandarin. Mandarin. Chinese. Yeah. Man, Mandarin. And then uh, <laughs> Hanzo is, in, is talking Japanese, Japanese. So he's like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, man. <laughs> so, because in in the in the, the yeah. canon that yeah. Bihan is half Japanese, half Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why because the Lin Kuei thing. separate it's... from the Shirai Ryu, yeah. and, yeah. and they... don't don't add too much uh, details. <laughs> join... We didn't get it in the movie. They don't get <laughs> yeah, it out yeah. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't 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 start pulling the Star Wars shit. Like, oh, that guy was really important in Clone These were Wars. Trade okay? negotiations. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what you're talking no. about. It's very yeah. important. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as Hanzo starts crawling towards his dead family, he collapses and turns into fire. Fast forward yep. to the. As and that's the movie. Do. That's no, no. That's the movie. You great, good, good job, Eric. That's it, everybody. Thank you. Great. It's not even the best oh. fight. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> that is the best yeah. fight of the movie. That is the oh. best fight in the movie. That Absolutely is by not. far the best fight. No, nope. Kung Lao, hundred percent. No, hundred percent. No. No. I'm gonna agree with no. Marcus on this one. No, no that's perfect. the best fight. No. It's a perfect no. fight. From this no. point, it goes downhill. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we go, we 100%. go to, we go to the, to the present day, and we follow Cole Young. A so-so MMA fighter who's down on his I luck. I wouldn't even call him so-so. He was formerly a champ. Shit. He, no, he is shit. <laughs> he is now. Um, he's fighting for two hundred dollars in some bar in the middle of nowhere. Two hundred dollars <laughs> is shitty, enough. That's a shitty fighter. So he, <laughs> so he, he. He get he meets up with the Jax, who's like, here, show you, look at my tattoo, <laughs> and then they show the tattoo to each other, and then Sub Zero shows up and tries to kill everyone because he has that tattoo, <laughs> the tattoo. So they decide to run. Obviously, um, <laughs> Jax gets his as you uh, do. Yes, uh, obviously, if Sub Zero shows up, which is a really cool when he shows up. That was a really cool special effects sequence. I will, you know, say, um, Jax gets beat down, loses his arms. Um, then Cole and company leave, and he he goes and meets up with Sonya, who's in this like trailer park, um, and this big exposition board that she has. <laughs> I so like that. I like when he said that, that was an exposition board, and you know Kano's there, tied up because obviously they've been looking for these people with the tattoos, and there's a apparently a Mortal Kombat, a, a competition that happens, but I guess. Shang Tsung is trying to cheat and kill everyone before the tournament. So that's what's happening in this movie. They Kano is the only person that knows where Lord Raiden's temple is. So they f go to the temple and they meet up with Liu Kang, who's sort of wandering the desert looking for champions. He takes them back to the temple. Why is this so hard for you to follow? Oh my God. Why is this plot so hard for you to follow? It's perfectly straightforward. It's on the desert and Liu Kang... They're on the island, and Liu Kang finds them on the island to bring them back to the temple. They're looking this for him. He's like, like a, what's the problem? This whole thing sounds like a fucking acid trip, Eric. This doesn't sound like a movie. It's like a bad dream. Hey, so, you know when we're playing D&D &D and you fuck up all your roles? <laughs> this so, is what you get. You get, you get Mortal Kombat. Uh, you get so, movie. so Liu Kang takes them back to the temple where Lord Raiden's like, yeah, there is a tournament, but, uh, you know, Shang Tsung is trying to cheat so but you got to learn about your arcana arcana yeah you gotta learn yeah. your arcana. you have to learn about your fucking magic yeah. yeah so then this whole <laughs> training sequence in this temple which takes like half of the movie where they just fight in this dirt pit happens and mm -hmm. slowly they 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 learn their powers except for sonya blade who doesn't have that that too so she doesn't get anything kano gets a laser eye and some mm -hmm. other people yeah, get some other stuff um so you know Stuff happens. Kano betrays them. Cole's like, oh, I can't find my Arcana. I'm going to go home. So he leaves, even though they're searching for all these people to kill. But he goes home anyway. And he Goro... He with his family. Did you not get that part? Yeah, yeah. I guess. Uh, sure. Anyway. <laughs> they're going to kill him anyway. He wanted to be... That's why Raiden's like, just go home and be with your family then. You're not going to... You know, there's no use to you being here. Just go home and be with your family with the last moments you have. Yeah. yeah I guess. Uh, but... But yeah. not really because he wanted him to unlock his arcana. So uh, Cole I, yeah, Young, he knew. There is he no knew. spoon. So yeah. Cole Young goes home. 
<laughs> Goro, Goro oh tries gosh. to kill him, but he does. Um, he he finds his Arcana because Goro threatens his family. Well, his he, super. Can we can we just say straight up say his superpower? Yeah, he gets a, a metal sweater. It's getting his ass kicked. Is yeah. what it is. Yeah. It is ass kicked. That's a superpower. I, Kano was right. Turned, he turned into fucking Dave Batista from the Iron Fist movie. Oh man, Bronze Tiger. That movie's so yeah. fucking good. Go I, watch that, that movie. Is, I would watch that ten times more oh, than this. Movie. Was so it good. just? Yeah. Was his? Were his fists also metal? I think it stopped at his Everything. hands, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it stopped at his hands. Yeah, yeah for some okay. reason, it's like it the Black Panther armor, here. right? Yeah, because uh, you don't. Gonna... Yeah, he could punch Goro and not break his fist. <laughs> <laughs> I was I'm, I'm gonna let you finish, but I just wanted. To, I just wanted to. Make but Beyonce one... had the best album of all time. Of all time. <laughs> of, all, of all time. No, I, I, I just wanted to add this one point because I'm gonna forget later. Um, forever from this point forward, anytime I use the phrase plot armor. I will think of this scene. Yeah. He literally <laughs> That's his superpower. Kane's plot armor. Yeah. And anytime I ironically or unironically refer to that as a trope in bad movies, I will use an image of this character. Anyway, please continue. Okay, quick 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 question. Quick mm -hmm. question before you continue. Yes, sir. This is the point where I I like I think a lot of people felt that this is that he should have turned into Scorpion at this point. This is yes. where I think a lot of people yes. felt that. Did you guys feel the same uh, way? Well, I, I forgot to mention better. that Cole Young kept on having visions of Scorpion, Scorpion. Um, and that he was yeah. given this stupid the the kunai. dagger thing. The kunai, yeah. the kunai. Thank you, yeah. kunai. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah. I didn't want him to become Scorpion because I thought that would be the dumbest I, thing. But I, I did I, think, oh, he'll get like he'll get like some power related to Scorpion, right? He'll learn how he'll get like a kunai hand, or he'll have like I, hellfire powers. But he won't literally just become Hiroyuki Sonata, which he no, does. But he could I be thought. like Junior Scorpion or something. No, I want. I wanted him. I wanted him to fully just like be gone. Could you imagine the, if the there were two Scorpion was there. two Scorpions on screen at the same time? Well, that would have just oh. been Ghost Rider, though. I'm fine with that. And they can't do that. They would have been sued. Yeah. Anyway, didn't they make Ghost Rider? They should be. Well, oh, no, that's movie. that's this is. We're, I'm talking like Marvel versus DC. Kinda. Yeah. Because um, because yeah. DC and well, it's all Warner Bros. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So Cole Young's like, hey, I got my Arcana. I'm gonna go back. And uh, so they go back, and um, Kano has betrayed them, so they, they disappear into a uh, white void. Oh, yeah, uh, Kung Lao dies. Uh, yeah, but after or, cutting someone's face in half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part was kind of cool. That, that, was that cool. guy is fucking was cool. cool. That, that was cool. And what's not but... cool is when he, he says, flawless victory. <laughs> yeah. It's not cool, but Christ. Kung Lao is not cool. <laughs> Kung Lao's an asshole, as he always is in the games. Yeah, he was. He was yeah. Anyway. Uh, so they go to the White Void and come up with this master plan of Raiden teleporting them all to these various stages that we see in Mortal Kombat, Ooh. the game, <laughs> so that they can have their one-on-one -on -one fights and yeah. sometimes have fatalities. And then we see a bunch of people fight each other. Um, yeah. Was it's that great. it? That was the end, right? <clears throat> Pretty much. Yeah. Now, how come when they were fighting over the Bridge of Spikes, no, why got... did they decide to use that fatality with the hand clap <laughs> and not... Of the uppercut him down into the bottom because um cole young's daughter didn't get to say upper do your uppercut to him ah okay. right yeah she did that i too. mean he did, does like the on, on, on the note down and does oh wait, wait i forgot that. one thing i forgot one thing um uh, to do the end of the uh no do your note because i'll say the end of the movie i just i just one of the things i really hated that this movie did a lot was the call offs off off screen like the do your uppercut which was probably a fucking voiceover added after mm -hmm. the fact for them to be like sure. what would be really good is if somebody told him if, if the daughter called back and said to the because she says it twice off screen you never see her actually say it mm -hmm. from her fucking lips mm -hmm. and i hate that shit i yeah. fucking hate that yep and what okay, kind of on. mma fighter needs to be told to throw a punch yeah, uh, well, MMA fighters actually. Your coaches are constantly yelling at you to do things. Oh, a, a ten-year-old is a great coach. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, perfect, yeah. perfect ring coach. I forgot to yeah. say that um, at the end, uh, Sub Zero freezes Cole Young's family, but not to death. Just enough that they're, 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 they're stuck in an MMA cage. Uh, so that, uh, but to be fair, Sub Zero's thing seems to be I killed him and then he leaves, but then he's like, Oh, no, they're not dead. Well, I didn't I make actually, sure. Hold on, hold on, because I think the reason he, uh, Shang Tsung doesn't want to kill the fighters because then new people will get the markings. Shang Tsung wants to make the fighters useless 
So that's why he doesn't kill Jax. He goes, oh, Jax's got no arms. Brother. How the fuck is he going to fight me now? Great. Yeah, let's go do the tournament. This guy's got no but, fucking all right. arms. All right. When we need to fill in parts of the movie for the movie, <laughs> that's, a, that's, listen, that's always a show the not first tell. sign. Because he never right. says kill them, right? He never said he, he'll say finish oh them. Oh, my God. But he never says <laughs> getting, kill the fighters. He goes, we're going to go cheat. We're going to go I'm cheat I'm getting right Last now. Jedi flashbacks right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Why are, we, why are we filling? Why are we telling the story that's for them? show not tell. What do you want me to do? It's a... It's, Okay. Anyway, so Scorpion and and Cole Young fight Sub Zero, and they end up killing Sub Zero. And uh, at the end of the or movie, did they? yeah, we don't know. No, at the end of the movie, get over here. At the end of the movie, Shang Tsung's like, you know what? Death's only one, po- only a portal. And then you know the people that died in the movie disappear. I guess they're gonna get resurrected for the next five films. We and um, can't wait to see General Raiko. I mean, he was my favorite character in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then. Um, I guess they're charged with going to find the other champions and uh, we get to see a Johnny Cage poster, sort of. We see the belt and uh, credits. Bad version of the theme songs. Da, 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 so da. so that, that way they don't have to cast Johnny Cage, right? They just throw a show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. As long as it's a, yeah, as long as it's some white guy from California with a belt buckle. No, it, it's going to be Ryan Reynolds, who's from Vancouver. Oh, God, I hope Just like not. California, but more north. I don't want yeah. him to be... Johnny Cage. No, they won't know him enough. And he uh, won't. He doesn't do his own stunts like that. So, okay. <laughs> I will eat your soul, says OG Cylon. Um, so thoughts. <laughs> so where do we start from here? Can I? Can Steven. I see then? Oh, good, Dave. No, let's go with Dave. one thing because clearly this movie was made in the edit. On my third watch, I went, "Wow, there's a lot of fucking. There's a lot of cuts. Like they- the amount of cuts this movie must have." 10 times as many as a normal movie because there were literally flashes of about less than a second of a character while they're trying to just for some reason make yeah. your brain understand what's going on because so, it's yeah one of my favorite really youtube channels is quarter crew and they do all those stuntmen reacts and we t- we hear about how they do a lot of this editing stuff uh, especially for they shit on the taken films a lot because Liam Neeson is old oh, God. and yeah. you know he can only do so much at a time that's why they cut really fast so it looks like he's doing stuff fast same and, with Paul Greengrass that's what he does with the Bourne movies yeah exactly but Matt Damon's actually pretty good so he you could tell oh, yeah, that first, you, you could tell in the first one that he's actually fighting but then yeah. forward after just, that it's all cuts yeah anyway so um, for what's really sad like I was talking to Hawk about this is that I know that Hiroyuki Sonata and Joe Taslim are good fighters. Like, Hiroyuki is a little bit older now. He probably can't move as fast as he used to. But he still knows how to, you know, move. So when I saw the first fight, and it's a good fight. It's just shot really bad, and it's edited really badly. Um, yeah. Too many quick cuts to not actually see what, they, what, they're, what they're like. And then, especially at being a big fan of Warrior and seeing how fight choreography is done really well, especially with Joe Taslim there doing the, it's, the actual choreography. It's a lot of weight. It's a lot of a waste of a talent in that. And it's very disrespectful in that, you know, cause I, I love Joe Taslim in warrior and that um, he has such an, it, it, you know, what carries him though is, the, you know, not just his ability in that, but it's that stone cold face that he has in that. He was still his the eyes best. Do all of his acting in this yeah. movie. Right. Yeah. You know, he was the best part of this movie and it was such a shame having to watch him behind a mask the entire time rest of the movie mm-hmm. yeah. i don't i didn't mind having him behind the mask it was him just randomly showing up like the boogeyman like mm. him um, and scorpion were hardly in the movie can, can i because yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna forget this part if i if i don't talk about it now with the masks um I, I, you guys know that i make stuff like this all the time and i i like you know i love masks it's kind of like my thing but I don't understand to this day. I will never understand how this keeps happening, especially in these Mortal Kombat movies. They're iconic characters. They look a certain way, but they can't make a fucking mask that fits the actor's face properly. And they never do. <laughs> like Sub Zero's mask it has fucking gaps. You could fit four fucking fingers down there, and the thing rattles around when he's fucking moving. The first one, I get it. The first Mortal Kombat, you know, it was done on a budget, and they didn't know what they were doing, and they were like, "Oh, this is our design. It's got teeth in it. He looks cool." It, yeah, okay, fine. It's a big, giant, bulky yeah. respirator on the guy's face. But as time has gone on, like it, it's not that fucking hard to make something yeah. that actually fits form to somebody's face and made specifically for that actor. And yeah, technology is different now. It, it, like, it, it, I, I hate the masks that are like this fucking white on somebody's face and they're knocking around and stuff. It looks bad. And Weirdly, clunky. the Mortal Kombat legacy 
outfits were actually probably much better made and much better tailored to the actors. They actually the were. They're they really actually cool. were. I I loved Legacy and I loved every. Yeah. I loved their costume design and everything. But we we'll talk about that after. What did? But I just okay. I, yeah. I I just hate the like. I just did not like the. I love the mask designs. I just felt like they were really poorly made and just bulky and just way too. And again, you you if you're gonna put an actor who is pretty awesome and intense and you hide this much of his face the entire time. Like you, you have to give us something else. You have to compensate with something, and like everything just looked too like they they clouded them. They kept crowding their faces, and it was just it pissed me off. I, yeah, it. I will say that I I enjoyed the production design on the most part. Like I liked the way things looked more or less. Um, I thought the temple was a little weird, um, but that's why did it have those like turbine things? Like I I know he's the god of. It literally gets struck by lightning at one point. Yeah. yeah, I know, but like, I just didn't understand why. They, like, why did we need to see those things? Why did they have to be? Like, they did, just didn't. I'll believe anything if the if the temple gets it's, hit by lightning. It's hit by lightning. It's a it's, fucking it's god. magic. Man. Yeah, <laughs> it's a god who can't interfere with anything, but interferes with everything. Well, mm-hmm. that but that's the way Raiden always works in the in the story, though, right? He, goes, I, I'm uh, not allowed to interfere. But I have always- I have thoughts on uh, Raiden uh, in a bit. We'll talk about it. But let's start off with the the main character of this movie, Cole Young, played by John Lewis. Everton. Oh, uh, um so so they did a they did a thing where they decided to create a new character to you know which is to make cool, us like, the eyes it's a, there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that they have I hundreds like of characters in the game why not add another one i'm fine with that what did you think of him as a character in general i don't mind the fact that they wanted to add a new character and i didn't mind the actor who played cole young i hated the character that they made cole young to be he was just, he was bland. There was no, there. Were, you didn't give a shit about any of his struggle. You didn't give a shit about his, you didn't know his actual life. They talk about, oh, he was an orphan at one point or he did this or whatever. I don't know. I honestly got lost, but nothing about him or his family or his life seemed important, seemed interesting. You didn't give a shit. Like nothing. Talks yeah, over it was, a lot too. Yeah. 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 You see this, you see how I'm, I'm sitting here like this uh, with my <laughs> hand on my face. That's how this you is, normally sit. Well, this is how I was sitting through Mortal Kombat after the initial fight. After after the one hour mark or the fifty minute mark, I I was just like this for the entire thing, just checking the clock, like just fifty minutes is when they start training in the temple. Yeah, by the way. yeah. Oh, and that, that's I... around when I I'm when I gave up on the movie and I was just sitting like exactly this exact pose for the Bef- rest of the film. Sorry, before we get into Cole Young, how are we with the Mortal Kombat history, like? Are are we fans of the game? Are we fans of the comics, oh, sure, video yeah, game? Yeah. Oh, that, that's a good question. Let's yeah. let's start Thank with you. Steve. Yeah, Steve. Let's go <laughs> Steve. Steve. Uh, I, I I don't. I'm probably not on top of the history as much as I used to be. But yeah, I um I was really into it at one point. I really respect Nether Realms for what they did with like uh, Mortal Kombat Nine, uh, with uh you know how they took like the plot and uh, and then basically did a reset. Here's like the Here's a little cool like uh, I love that special edition. Things. That was so cool. Yeah. So that's PS3. And that was yeah, the PS3, only right. one on PS3. Yeah. 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 For that era, and, I should say. But yeah, I was I was really into it. And I really liked um, you know, all the stuff that came out and it really drove me. And I was a big fan of fighting games growing up. Uh, you know, Mortal Kombat among them. I mean, yeah. I was into a lot of other ones as <laughs> we well. We were all we were all uh, of the age where Mortal Kombat was such yeah. a big thing in the media mm-hmm. and everything. Except yeah. for Dave, he's yeah. a baby. Fuck yeah, yeah, you! I yeah. played it on the SNES <laughs> that I didn't own because we didn't have an SNES. Fair. And, uh, and yeah, and I saw I saw the other two movies in the theater too, and I was all part of that craze, you know, like the yeah. Mortal Kombat, right? So I remember seeing it. Too. We did. What that. was the so, first one rated? Yeah. Was it PG thirteen? I think it was like yeah, PG thirteen because I was six when yeah, it came out. So it wasn't. Well, it depends on what you played it on. Uh, no, we're talking about the movie. The um, movie. Oh, okay. Shells, what about you? What do you? What's your history with the Mortal Kombat franchise? Oh yeah, right from right from the first game. Like yep. I, I played all. I remember like how excited I was when those PlayStation games came out, like Mortal Kombat trilogy, and right. and you had all the all those characters all in one game. Yeah, loved trilogy those was games. good. That yeah. was a beautiful release. Yeah. But yeah, lo- love love the heck out of the uh, of the movie. Um, I bought the um, the album, like not not the soundtrack to the movie, but it was called Mortal Kombat the album, and nice. I remember that. And it was it included that Techno Syndrome uh, yep. track and a whole bunch of like a whole bunch of like. Each character. random pop songs about each character yeah and i had that on cassette 
So. Nice. I was trying to find it before this episode. I couldn't find yeah. it, but yeah, I had Not, it on cassette. Oh my See, god, I've got the CD of that, but uh, but you you uh, you beat me with the cassette, man. That is <laughs> mine is an eight track. No. <laughs> 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 Hello, <laughs> my baby. <laughs> what about you, Marcus? What's your history with this franchise? Uh, first game and onward, and I I was a big fan of all of Mortal Kombat games. Oh, most of them. Um, I I don't think I played every single one, but I I I I kind of followed most of it, and of course uh, all the movies. Um, and I did watch uh the first season of Legacy when it had originally came out, come out, and I hadn't actually watched the second season, so I still actually have to watch the second season of it. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, to find yeah so so it, it was awesome it was, like i love mortal Kombat and everything i was a big fan of like the original like putting in the blood code and stuff yeah, like that. yeah. Like, i still remember that kind of shit the the act like finding accidental fatalities like the the level fatalities that kind of stuff like it was such a cool like evolution of learning a fighting game and stuff like that because that's what all we had as kids there was no internet there was no so like just you'd hear somebody like somebody knows how to knock some guy off the bridge. You'd be like, fuck, how do you do that? And you'd, yeah. you'd like ask every friend, you know, like I loved that aspect of yeah. the game. It, it was really kind of like a, a, a new, it yeah. was a new generation of gaming at that yeah. point. And then there was that, was that really one point. There was that one friend that had that Nintendo power that had just some of the move lists, not all of them, yeah. but some of them. And you're like, yeah, Oh my God, them, bring yeah. it over. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Like the original arcade game came out at a time when there was no way to really disseminate this information. So it all came down to magazines and word of mouth. And yeah, it was a very cool time to to have to discover stuff and figure it out. Yeah, mm. for sure. And like you'd, you'd, you'd be button mashing and then you'd like accidentally do something cool and be like, how did I do that? And you'd try to like reverse engineer yeah. what you did in the last yep. couple of fights. Yeah. And again, I, 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 the first game, time I ever played Mortal Kombat was in a, a, the Limeridge Mall arcade. <laughs> and I still I remember that. like if you if you wanted to keep learning if you wanted to, you had to fucking fork over the quarters man like put it on the screen <laughs> put it on the screen yeah yeah I, yeah I got next so I mean it was it was I always loved like the I, I just loved the purity of the first couple like Mortal Kombat games and then as it went on it got really flashy and showy and there was a lot of cool crazy blood and fatality and then the x-ray snapping started coming in later on and all that kind of stuff it's still fun it's I still find them to be fun cool games but I'm not as in love with it as I used to be Mm -hmm. until 10 came out Ed Boon one of the creators of Mortal Kombat said 3 was still the best and he was making games still I agree I would agree with that I, I think that I, I would agree with that too. I think all the games after three up until nine, um, they were trying different things. Like yeah. they understood that they needed to experiment <laughs> and try to evolve. And pretty much everything they tried didn't really work. But at least they were trying. You know, they added the three D and they like added like the oh, stage fatality yeah. stuff, oh, like transitional that, stuff. And I but, I still remember playing my N sixty four version of of Mortal Kombat. Oh, that was fucking bad. <laughs> that was yeah. bad. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, Hawk. What about you? What's your history? Um, not very, not a very extensive history with the franchise, and that you know, I knew about it when I was growing up. I don't think I really played the games on the Nintendo units that I had up until like you know, I think I had up until Super Nintendo, so I didn't advance on to sixty four or that. Um, you know, I got dragged to the movie in nineteen ninety five. You should have oh, ran. <laughs> 95 was that in the mid 90s was like you know me wanting to go to like you know, some like art houses like there's this ultra you know there's this you know neo Hawk crime was it up at the disco yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was that was the art house period for me for movies and that so like you know friends were like come on let's go to the movie and have fun it's like okay sure what did you think when you saw it uh, it, it was you know a lot better than i expected ridiculous fun you know mm-hmm. uh you know, there's a whole thing with Christopher Lambeer. I think that's why my friends wanted to go see it because they were they were just kind of obsessed with Christopher Lambeer. As one does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, beyond that, when I actually did get into fighting games again and that, I kind of moved on because like there was all sorts of other you know franchises available at the time with the PlayStation onward and that, like Tekken and DOA. So um I don't really have a big dog in this fight as far as tonight. I did watch <laughs> this new movie. <laughs> Uh, I'm just like, I'm just looking forward to hanging back in here in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, th- I think it's good. I think it's good to have somebody who's maybe not as invested to just sort of just look at it from the movie perspective because yeah. I think that's that's the biggest problem is 
after going through all these years of being the angry Star Wars guy, I realized <laughs> now that you can be the angry Mortal Kombat guy. <laughs> no, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's, 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 no. That's my point. That's my point. The problem is once I start getting into it, and once we start talking about the lore and why this character didn't resemble what we expected, people start to discount. You know, like oh, they just they're just you know entitled or they're just fanboys and. And my, my honest problem with the film is the film itself, if you just extrapolate all that other stuff, is just not very good, you know? And that's, I think it'll be good to have, you know, your We'll talk the good, the bad, the right after. Yeah. Dave, what's your history, sir? Uh, I definitely played Mortal Kombat at the Lion Ridge Mall arcade <laughs> as a kid. Uh, except I would have been much younger. Uh, and I played a lot of Die Hard. At he was a kid, actually. you were pushing out of the way, Marcus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, my brother <laughs> would have been... Kid. Like My brother down. would have been the biggest guy there, so you probably couldn't have pushed him. <laughs> uh, actually, both of them uh, at the time. Uh, so I remember playing this first one on an SNES on a kid who lived around the corner from us in, when I was probably in grade six or seven. So that would have been uh, like 2000 or 99 or something like that. So a little, you know, a little after, because um, by that point, the 64 was out. Uh, but I think I, that was, I only played the first one until like Armageddon or Shaolin or uh, Deadly Alliance. It's like Deadly I played, Alliance, I yeah. never finished those games, but I definitely played them because mm-hmm. they borrowed them from people. I rented them from Blockbuster or something like that. Um, but when nine came out, I was like hard invested in nine. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. I, I think I beat that one. And then I, I yeah, rewatched the games. I watched that seven hour thing on YouTube of all the games it's with so all good. the best parts removed. Nine, ten, eleven. You can't yeah. see beheadings or people's heads explode on YouTube. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I realized having finished, because I, what is Aftermath came out last year, which is the like expansion basically DLC for Mortal too. Kombat yeah. 11. And I was like, I don't think I've seen this. I had seen it. So I watched all that seven hours that I'd already already watched before. <laughs> I've only watched Mortal Kombat 9 three times. So I think I'm a little more invested than everybody else. I just watched that today, so I understand. I've also watched Mortal Kombat Legacy probably a dozen times. It's really good. I really like Mortal Kombat Legacy. Uh, I like Mortal Kombat. I think Mortal Kombat's fucking awesome. And I'm, yeah, I'm, last... I'm just looking at this Mortal Kombat Legacy poster because I didn't even know this show existed. And is that seven of nine? It is. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she plays Sonya Blade. <gasps> So yeah. and Mike, uh, Mike I'll, send, I'll send you. What, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll send you some stuff later. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Uh, my. Because because legacy yeah. you can pretty much only get by buying it on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I YouTube. have. I actually have a Blu-ray of uh, of Legacy, but not the um, second season because they didn't do a not, Blu-ray yeah, the second season. Exactly. And then Machinima pff, died, and now Machinima oh, yeah. is owned by Rooster Teeth. Well, not Rooster Teeth, but strangely, w. I believe the first season of Legacy is actually on YouTube. Uh, officially yep. off of a, a WB uh, thing. Yeah, they don't have the second. Yeah, so there's a, there's a I don't know what it's called, uh, like Warner Brother Bits or something. Like it's a it's an actual Warner Brother yeah, YouTube yeah, yeah. channel, but they have the first season, so you can actually see. It. But the second one, in my opinion, is this is, is uh, this is where Shell but... goes to YouTube and stops paying attention to the podcast. Yeah, it's well, called Beyond the Lot, and I'll post a link right Beyond now. the Lot. There that's it. That's it. Yeah. I understand, Shell. Yeah. I understand. I, I'm like yeah 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 Mortal Kombat's good good right. yeah well but here's the, but here's the thing right like I mean this is what I was going to open with is is you know when I was you know being the, the the bitchy guy about Star Wars two years ago my main issue was that a lot of people were like going well you know it's gonna get better I mean there's gonna be another one right like with this movie it's like oh it's just the beginning of the trilogy you got you got to wait we'll talk about that no no we'll talk about that oh, oh okay okay well my history I'll, I'll my history carry. my history I oh my, sorry sorry. My, I, yeah. I played it from the first one. Um, I remember playing it for the first time at Penn Center and then doing Scorpion's um, teleport by accident. So nice. that was that was a very... Was it down back high kick? Yeah, down back high kick or high punch. I can't remember at the moment. I think um, it's kick. I was just button mashing at the time. And I I remember seeing it and being like, holy shit, what the hell? I came to the other side. Um, that, was, that was so good. And then afterwards, it was just like... I. I Played one, two, and three, and then sort of, I played that side scroller game that was really weird. Yeah, the uh, Origins or oh, something, Sub Sub Zero. Yeah, and, and then yeah. I anthology. It was just, it was just, Mortal Kombat anthology. Yeah, yeah. and Sub-Zero. then that lost me, so I stopped playing <laughs> for a bit until Mortal Kombat 9, 10, and eleven, which are really good. I really got into the Injustice games. I really like Nether Realms. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think they're really good. Um, the movie ninety five's Mortal Kombat was one of the best movie experiences i've 
ever had going with a bunch of my friends just to see that movie and you know you're you're i was what 14 when that came out that was like perfect age for that movie and it was just a blast yeah. plus i was also getting into techno at that time so hearing the immortals track any of that soundtrack was just like yes this is perfect and that's sort of where i am i've seen all the other uh, movies even that scorpion animated movie that came out last year which was all right i thought it was all right um i know a lot of people don't like it but i thought it was all right so let's go back to cole young the new the new guy because i sort of cut cut off that conversation so that we could talk about our history um there's lots of there's lots of characters in Mortal Kombat, and I'm fine with adding a new person. But the I don't know I didn't like him I didn't like him as a character. He was Milk Toast. He was just a Milk Toast character, just bland and boring. And I I didn't feel for him. Like that that was the worst thing is I didn't yeah. care if he died. I didn't even yeah. care if his family died. They were sort of annoying. Um, sort of know why this is why he was so bad. I'm getting really tired of the reluctant hero storyline, especially if you're trying to write some new character into some franchise and that it's always some guy, somebody who's a reluctant hero and that I'm tired of it. Like, the problem is people don't know how to write reluctant heroes like John McClane. Mm-hmm. Because in the case, because John McClane is a proper, he, right? He's a proper reluctant hero. does everything he can to not have to do anything. But Cole is like, yeah, I guess I'll try. And then he becomes reluctant. That's not how it works. You have to be reluctant up until the last minute where there was no other option, but you have to fight. And they didn't do that in this movie. Were there any redeeming qualities to this character? Um, He's invincible. He, he, <laughs> he just happened to be related to a much cooler character. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's yeah. the worst part is that they keep pushing this fucking narrative too. Is it one? They added a prophecy, which is horseshit, and two, they made him related, which is like, oh, Harry Potter, you're the what? You're the Luke Skywalker yeah. of this this wizard world, or like, stop it, stop it. It it just makes it worse because rich people are already rich, and then they have rich kids, and then you go, well, only special people can have special kids, and that, and he's white. I'm not even the right person to be complaining about this, and I'm going to complain about this. It's shitty. It's shitty writing, and it's just pushing a narrative that most people don't want to hear anymore. That you got to be a special boy. You got to grow up and be a special boy. Like, I I would be... I I feel like I would enjoy him more if I thought his fights were good, but they weren't. I None of them... Like, I don't remember enough of his fights other than when he was getting beat down in the MMA thing at the beginning. And he well, tapped out. That's the only thing I could what really we realize. Is just the fight with Goro. A weapon. All he needed to do to yeah. win a fight was to have like a, a gun or a sword to beat someone who doesn't have a weapon. You'd think like, oh, Liu Kang, why don't you just get a sword? Then you your fight against uh, what's his face is going to be way easier. Who did he ball. fight? I don't Cabal. Remember. Yeah, oh. Cabal. Cabal. Is, Cabal. Ed Boon loves the uh, Flash. So he's got Cabal. He's there super, it is right there. Sweet. Right there. You no, see, I know Cabal. I just couldn't remember. His name. I was thinking the no, Flash. no, 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 no. I was, I was thinking of, of Eric. Couldn't remember that he actually fought Cabal, and yeah. that's my point, right? Like, I know there's gonna be people who'll be like defending this movie because it'll be like, remember that one scene when like the ice effects were like doing like, and I like the ice effects. I'm not not ice effects ice are really effects. good. Yeah, that was same with the fire. But, but everyone's gonna be like, money you know that one scene where like Kung Lao cut like that random character who I don't remember her name in half, and you know, and all these sorts of things, and and I counted. There's only 15 minutes of this movie that people are ever going to talk about. The and beginning? that to me... I skipped the 15, beginning. That's my least interesting part to me. 15 spread across the entire movie. And, and very simply, I just have to ask the question, when you have only 15 minutes of a movie, is it worth the rest of the movie to get to those 15? And I think in this case, it, it isn't. You know, like that's that's the thing. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, mm. I love this fight scene from this movie or whatever. So it, it is really in Rogue it One. In. Right. It was, yeah. When Vader yeah, exactly. does his hallway scene, and it is in the Mandalorian for Luke's hallway scene, but you're saying in this movie, for oh, for Cole Young to just suddenly have a sword so he can fight somebody, an orc, it's a lot. You know, it's yeah. not worth it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, a Warcraft the orc person, with extra arms. To use those examples, but um, yeah, no, I, I just I ask the question. Who is this movie for, right? Because to bring it back to Cole Young, right? It's all good and fine to introduce a new character, right? But my thing is, people are going to seize on little things that they said, you see, that was Mortal Kombat. Oh, Kano said the thing, right? And and that was a fatality, <laughs> right? But the whole movie was very checklist, right? Like, the, the Cole Young thing being the reluctant hero, like you guys brought up, like, that's very, that's very road, it's very tropey, right? And everything that was 
a Mortal Kombat reference was very like slotted right in there, you know, like it didn't. The film overall didn't really feel like Mortal Kombat to me. Like it, it's no, always it didn't. Sort of... because, and there was no Mortal Kombat. Co- like, there's no Mortal Kombat in this film. They don't even I have the tournament. the tournament. I hate that. I hate when movies say, like, oh, we're getting to the tournament. Don't forget about the tournament. Here comes the tournament. We've got to be ready for the tournament. Are we going to do the tournament? No, we don't need to do that. Next movie. Like, like, how can you have a Mortal Kombat movie? without yeah. Mortal Kombat. And people are and, going to defend it because they're going to say, oh yeah, but the next movie is going to be great. But, no. but here's the thing. Mortal Kombat 11 doesn't have any Mortal Kombat in it. Exactly. Like this but is the problem. Mortal Kombat... Unlike... Uh, but no like, there's no tournament in Mortal Kombat 11. But it's it's based off the, the stuff that happened previous, I know. right? Like, I know. It's I'm, not, yeah, I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just... Yeah, like, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but what, I, what I was going to say is unlike two years ago when I was like losing my shit about Star Wars and then it took two years for Mandalorian to come out and then people went, oh, Yeah. That's what happens when you give a fuck about Star Wars. Oh, that's what it's like, okay? I don't need to do that this time because we have we have two fairly shoddy movies, okay? But I would still argue Annihilation is still way more Mortal Kombat than this entire movie was, okay? Well, it was a tournament. One, well, not even that. Just, just how stupid it was. I mean, I agree. The movie is awful, okay? Yeah. But it was very Mortal Kombat, right? You can't, you can't say it wasn't set in that universe, right? We have legacy two web series, and I will challenge anyone who thinks that this was the right way to do a realistic Mortal Kombat. Just watch any episode of any of the seasons of Legacy. Okay? So, like, um, yeah. and, and and even take like the there was a there was a, a Street Fighter live action thing called Assassin's Fist. I like that. You can do live action Street Fighter stuff and Mortal Kombat stuff and make it feel like what it's supposed to be. Sorry, go ahead, Eric. So, um, I wonder, like. So this movie takes place before Mortal Kombat, um, right. apparently. And, like, Shang Tsung is trying to get rid of all the the human champions, right? Yeah. What's the point of having these elder gods that have these rules and stuff in place if they can just sort of circumvent that and not well, have the tournament? Well, that's kind of the point of all the games. So yeah. that's the one thing they actually got dead on, is that the elder gods... I don't never do anything until it's basically too late. Yeah. But even like that's the whole point of nine. That's the beginning of nine, right? Is that the elder gods are like, we're not. And then Shao Kahn's like, I'm going to finally cheat. And they go, okay, fine. We'll stop him. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't stop him with this. Um, The also like, oh my God, how do I say this? Raiden is one of my biggest issues in this movie. This is so funny. I know you hate him. Please go. I I love Raiden. I like this actor. I thought he was great. He's great. He's great. (laughs) But why didn't he teleport his champions to him? Like, what's yeah. the point of having these teleportation? Like, he's gathering, he's gathering his heroes. He sent so Liu Kang. The he's is because this is by somebody who doesn't understand the setting. Like, that's the explanation for every single question we have, right? Not like, every god has time for everybody to answer every little question and find every little person with a special birthmark <laughs> of six. Why did he send Liu Kang? Liu Kang with no money. To go and wander around the <laughs> desert. Liu <laughs> Kang didn't even find them. No, they you know, no, they, found they found him. Found him. <laughs> I, uh, okay, I, I'm going to take an opposite take from Eric to try to make another point. <laughs> and before, before I forget to, when I was watching this movie, I was making a list of all the people who I felt were overrated and needed to get like replaced if they're going to actually do a serious job. Like a character? A, no, 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 no. Just people involved with the movie. And I think... This is not me being a Mortal Kombat fan. This is me being a movie, you know, uh, critic. Okay, this movie needs a new director, a new editor, cinematographer, a new cinematographer. There were certain a, shots a new... that were really good, but yeah, but frame one of those two guys right twice a day, Eric. One of those two guys needs to be replaced. Okay, a new casting director because. A lot of that cast, I didn't think was very good. Okay. Ooh, I like, sure want to talk about this then. Some of them, maybe we can hang on to, but a lot of them, I don't think <laughs> so were appropriate. One, the best ones are dead. <laughs> I also, and... I also think that they swap. They should have swapped characters. Like, there's some actors that should have been playing a different character from each other. Like, yeah, that, that's yeah. what I mean. That's what I mean. The casting direction, like that very minimal role, I could see is like there's something wrong with these actors, or or they should have been swapped exactly right. Um, the script writer, of course. And uh, the producer for hiring all these assholes who don't know anything about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> so my point is, I just want to just just reference one thing. <laughs> the visual um, effects Eric... guy is like, yes, we're okay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Visual effects, 
and costume designer. And I will even give a conditional pass to the fight choreographer because I think most of us will be like, eh, it was okay. I mean, me and Eric, we're going to be a little more picky, you know, because, you know, whatever Asian pass. I'm willing to say, <laughs> I'm willing to say, look, Eric, I mean, they're trying their best, okay? Yeah. I mean, Sorry, I, I was laughing at the Asian years, past okay? comment. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's what I mean, right? So, like, I'm so not here's the so weird thing. Least. Here's something weird is I just watched Quarter just put up a video today, and they were talking about certain people like slowing down or being like slower in in, in fight roles. Like mm -hmm. if you want to be a stunt performer, you don't need to be the fastest. Like uh, Jet Li and Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan can all move faster than the camera can capture at 24 yeah, yeah, frames. Yeah. Yep. So when you when somebody was saying that like oh well because Hiroyuki Sonata is 60, I'm like yeah he's older. But that doesn't mean he has to, like, him moving slower. It's not like he's uh, 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 Robert De Niro in The Irishman. He can't play a 30-year-old. Hiroyuki Sonata oh, looks, looks like he looks like he's supposed to be, like, basically 50 or 60 in the movie. Mm -hmm. You don't expect him to move super fast. But also, like, a master samurai doesn't have to move super fast. No, it's more like chess, right? Yeah. 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 yeah and, yeah, like, yeah. and his stunts don't have to be super fast. They just have to yeah. read fast. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. there's a bunch of fun comments on on Twitch. Um, OG Silent said he's the chosen one. Snappy Dresser, I assume that's for Cole. Hollow <laughs> fan, Hollow fan service as well. Yes, which we could talk about in a bit. Um, TC Vintage wrote, "Winter is coming, guys. Trust us." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Steve, and, and then uh, OG Silent wrote, "The tournament is years, probably guys. the sequel," which is what we assume. Which is weird yeah. because in Mortal Kombat One there was a tournament, in Mortal Kombat Two they, there's another tournament, so you could have just had two tournaments. But these five hey, movies yeah. are they going to be five tournaments? Oh my God! <laughs> what would well, uh, like, I could imagine uh, them it, doing the tournament in the third movie too, just to be a dick about it. Like, I oh, would guess never. that the, the next movie will actually be the story of Mortal Kombat 1, where Sonya will like, they'll all go to Shang well, Tsung's Island, maybe? There's also going to be a really good one. It's Mortal Kombat 4 is going to be uh, like Sub-Zero and Scorpion on a trip to Las Vegas getting high as fuck in I a like Cadillac, and it's With going Seth to be Rogen. so fucking good. It's going to be so <laughs> good. So, so, that's anyway. the Mortal Kombat I'm waiting for. I, like I said... All those people are going to have to be replaced if they're actually going to seriously do this, except for the SFX guy, the costume designer, and maybe they, they could get a better fight choreographer. But to prove my point, the whole thing, when I was sitting there watching this movie, it felt like like a web series or like a Netflix movie, except there are better web series, as in Legacy, and there are better Netflix series, as in like practically... like. There's just something very amateurish in from the perspective where like if this was like somebody off the street, you'd be like, oh, that was that was a good job. But it just never felt like a really like big film. And and, and just, sorry, I, I know I keep going on, but I just want to add this one thing because it's very, very. It's just, you got notes. It's, it's to be off. No, it is kind, I kind of wrote notes on this. So <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing felt like more like a cosplay than they were actually those characters. <laughs> and, and and to illustrate so cosplayers this... Cosplayers would make better costumes. Yeah, it's true. That's the thing. True. It's true. It is true. Eric, really Eric has an issue with Raiden because the character wasn't done Raiden? properly. Yeah, <laughs> right. wasn't Raiden, even though they had a good actor. My counter to that is, does anybody remember any scene with Shang Tsung? Yeah, like, I do. That's that true. guy... That guy, okay, so here's the thing. I'm looking at this guy, and I'm like, he looks kind of familiar. Well, he was he's amazing. Yeah, hold, on, yeah. hold, on, hold on, that was my point. Hang on, hang on. So I'm sitting here like going like, he looks kind of familiar. I wonder if he's like some big like Chinese actor because they want to get this movie into like China, get that Beijing bag, you know? But there's no way China would ever allow Mortal Kombat into the country, so he can't possibly be an insert for that purpose. And then I looked him up later, I'm like, oh, he's a fucking accountant from, from the dark night it's like i'm sure at some point they were like okay okay we got to be like really culturally sensitive now so shang Tsung's chinese so we got to like actually get a chinese guy now we can't keep using that japanese guy okay so we're gonna get a real chinese they guy should have. It's like, well let's let's get that guy who played low pan oh he's too old now okay well who's next uh how about Isn't the guy low pan dead oh, fucking... no he's not dead yet oh, how about the accountant good. from from dark night that's good enough he's chinese right so you get this accountant who literally looks uh, he, like he's an accountant. funny or is he's born in Singapore. <laughs> you get this Singaporean, you get a Singaporean who looks like an accountant, and I liked his role as the accountant, but that's, that's I think his scope is quite limited because the whole time he's sitting there wearing he was this ghost huge, in the shell as like, well. 
Oh, oh he's in a lot of Wearing stuff. this armor yeah. that obviously doesn't suit him, right? With like the fake hairdo and everything. It oh, just looks terrible. so out of place. And every single line he just says is like, flawless victory. I'm like, what? Who are you? Like, the, 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 I what? think the issue with Shang Tsung is that he didn't seem scary. Like, there was no point no. where I was like, no, no there, there's nothing that makes me think that he could take over our realm. Yeah. Right? There was no gravitas, was a, like like Marcus said. There was no the gravitas in that character. Yeah. Well, and in the, the original actor. Mortal Kombat no, movie, the one from '95, like that Shang Tsung is very memorable. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Acted like crazy, but that's why so, you remember him. Exactly. And the part where he's and like, "Your soul is mine." Like that. that yeah. Yeah. Harry Kubrick was in a lot that. of action films. He's a fantastic martial artist, and he was very specific. He had a, he was in an interview that I read, and then he said very specifically that. Because Asians get such shitty fucking roles, yep. he goes, if I'm going to either be like this, like like a deli keeper or something, or I'm going to be a badass bad guy in a movie, I'm going to be the badass bad guy. That was on... an awesome uh, katana fight against Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Dolph yeah, Lundgren. That was in Corner uh, yeah, yeah, Crew yeah, yeah, last yeah. week. Um, yeah, the like, uh, that guy's had a great career no, and done a great job with the shitty roles he's basically see, been given. See, I wonder he if... The... He sang song in the second season of Legacy. Oh. Oh, really? And he's back. And in, he was back. He, in the he came back too. in Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. Yeah, um, and he was Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 11. The anyway, the issue is, I wonder he had nothing to work with in this movie, though, right? Yeah. Like, if yeah, you have a bad good. director and a bad script, you're not gonna get a good. You're not. It's not gonna be like fucking oh. Ewan McGregor in Star Wars. Like, there's only yeah. one Ewan McGregor Without who can take a bad director and a bad script and make it make it, that yeah. one character good. <laughs> Right? Fair. Yeah, that's fair. Right? Like, but that's making a character good. That's one actor somehow, like, somehow carving out, a, somehow yeah, carving out one character to be good himself. in this mountain of shit. Whereas this is like, yeah, nobody managed uh, that uh, except uh, for Kano. But that, okay, can yeah. I, I wanna, okay, yeah, okay, well, yeah. Let's, let's go, say, let's, can we let's, say that to the end because that's the only part everybody's going to agree on? Let Let's go okay. through the main cast. Can we go through the main cast? At least the main Mortal Kombat cast. Let's wait, talk wait, about before we do that. Okay, before yeah, we do that, I just want I want to go back for a second and talk about the script and okay, the script yeah, yeah, writing sure. and stuff because I I thought that was also one of the weakest parts of this whole thing. The like the script writing was pretty terrible. It was very unintuitive. It, it didn't feel earnest in any way. There was nothing memorable about it. Turned into a movie. It, it really was. It felt like a crappy teen romance novel. It was really shitty. Uh, but then what also bothered me was like the lapse in information that we got. Like, how the fuck did he find Sonya Blade? He was just given a fucking car and said, go find Sonya Blade in California. And he's in like, Gary, right. Indiana. Oh, Gary fucking Indiana. Okay. <laughs> they, uh, wow, you really did watch this more yeah, than once. I watched, it, you three watched it three times. <laughs> fuck, I watched it three I could times. Not but that's what I, I can't remember that because it wasn't information that seemed. I mean, I would have remembered from just, the first time. I got I got one of them brains. It was just, but like that kind of that sorry. kind of shit so pisses sorry. me off in a script. Never, ever. Like there's there's there was no information, and suddenly he's just there. Like he found her, no problem. And I was like, was there a fucking map drawn out in the car? Like don't like there's nothing. I just it just pissed. You know, I think was probably I think... in the GPS. If only they had taken one of their ten million cuts in this movie and just cut to the GPS real quick, but, then it would. And have then been they played. also. Like, they also have all those shots like fucking like Lord of the Rings with them wandering and just walking and walking and wandering and moving around. And I'm like, what the fuck are these shots? They're terrible. Yeah. And then I also, I, I, I don't know if anybody here likes these kind of moments, but I fucking hated every single time they used a line from the, from the game in like a cheeky tongue in cheek kind of way. Like kind of wins. I, yeah. I love, I did I, like I, that well, one. Well, well, I did we'll like that back. one too. I loved, no, I loved Kano. Yeah. Because yeah. Kano yeah. worked it. He yeah. worked it. Yeah. That line has no fucking right to be said by him. I, 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 I think that was, I hated that. And then every single time the fucking, we all know the flawless victory thing was fucking yeah. bullshit. And, <laughs> Um, the finish hymns were a little bit, you know. Well, it would every be time if they did finish that, him and then somebody actually got finished. But that kind of shit. I, I also, I think we'll talk about it at some point as well in a little bit more depth. But Scorpion's get over here just did not fucking make sense. The guy speaks no, Japanese all the time and then suddenly worked. yells out in in American, "Get over here!" I actually would have preferred it if he said it in Japanese. That would have been really fun and cool. badass. Because yeah. he also would have had a gruff vo version of him, the fucking actor saying it, and not some. Because I, I don't, I honestly. Yeah, that was not Ed Boon. That's for sure. No, that was his voice. That was for sure his. <laughs> was voice. it? Yeah, because Hiroyuki sounded... speaks pretty good English. Yeah, he does, but it just didn't sound like it would have been better in Japanese. It would have been so much it better been in Japanese. 
You see, you're you're talking from the perspective of someone who actually understands the characters, <laughs> and, or movies, and, or and, writing, and cares, or... <laughs> and cares about the Mortal Kombat setting, right? We you gotta yeah. understand these people. They 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 have a checklist. That's you the know, whole well, process. To, for them. to go off that, like this movie isn't just someone being like, "Hey, this is totally a new world, and we're introducing you." This is why we have Cole Young. We're introducing you to all these things, yeah. but they're assuming that the audience has a previous knowledge of Mortal Kombat to be like, "This is why Goro's here." Is Goro gonna be scary? We don't know no, anything about him. That's an orc. That's yeah. an orc yeah, from yeah. Warcraft. Like. Like they always, I they're like, they're always. like, hey, look, here's Cabal. <laughs> they sort of have some sort of history. Him and Kano. We don't know why, um, but that's from the previous games, not even the most recent trilogy. Uh, and then we're like, um, oh my god, it's it's all this. They're they're assuming that the audience knows things without actually explaining it on screen. That's the weird part about putting in your like audience role character, but then writing the movie as if like. I'm guessing COVID had a big impact on this movie. But like I said before, when we talked about whatever we talked about last time, we don't judge the movie they tried to make. We judge the movie we're given. Everyone's going to be using that one as an excuse. I don't think these people knew their asses from their elbows to begin with, honestly. (laughs) I don't. Can we talk about the director for a sec? Simon Simon McCoy. McCoy. Who was a music this, video director before this? Yeah, you, they, uh, it, it, all this stuff is listed as commercial work, and that they're the oh, only yeah. other. Oh, yeah. Michael Bay, I am, though, too. Michael, Michael Bay. Bay was all commercials. Uh, no, 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 no. That's that. Uh, there's that's fine. A lot of great directors started in commercials. Ridley Scott started in yeah. commercials, and that. <laughs> this is the guy's first like major film. Like My the only feeling- other. The only other thing on his IMDb is like a one minute short. And like, and then, then all of a sudden, like, and I think he's pretty much close to my age, you know, no, no, no disrespect to him in that, but like, yeah, this is his first major film is this he's handed this franchise. I don't think he's even played any games. Yeah. Or, yeah it, I, I, on it. No, that was my feeling as I was sitting there watching the movie like this. And I was going, I don't even want to look up any, any of those people that I listed off that they needed to replace. I was like, I can guarantee that if I look up any of those people, they have never done anything that I will ever remember. He because there's no yeah. way the quality of the directing, the quality of all these these people are all again, no insult to them if they, you know, this is their dream, but they're not the right people for this franchise. You Sorry, know, I, you know what's sad about off. this is that okay. um, I listened to Simon's uh, commentary over the first trailer and the the opening sequence, uh, the the first fight, right, the the Scorpion Sub Zero fight, and he sounded like a really passionate like fan, which is crazy to see the movie that came out of this is that, I don't know. Like it's just, it's like a weird mishmash of, I don't know how this happened, but he's Australian. So he edited it upside down. That's so it looks different. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> the water goes. The other yeah. Um, I, I do like suggest anyone who wants to hear him, like talk about the film and his love of the franchise or why he shot things certain ways um, to watch it. Um, because it's actually not bad. But so he did come in as a franchise fan. Yeah, that's that's. That, but he yeah, yeah, but it's WB. You never know what they're gonna fuck with. But th- th- you know what? That's, that's true. Like, like I, I feel like Warner Brothers has a history of too many too many cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. This is this is a classic example of it where there's too many higher up people being like, shouldn't we have this? Let's have this. This would be great too. And unfortunately, this first time director is sitting there going, oh, OK, yeah. yeah, I can I can make you happy and I can make yeah, you happy yeah, yeah. and I can make you happy. But the fucking thing that should be mattering is us. I know we sound like p- bitchy little fanboys being like, it's not the but movie we're the I ones wanted. Who are going to watch it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We are the ones that this movie is supposedly being made for. So what? Stop yeah. fucking and, with us, Warner and, Brothers. And, 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 to counter, and to counter the argument that inevitably comes when we start complaining and then people call us fanboys. I mean, we just opened the episode with that wonderful, you know, um, 10 years of Marvel. I mean, mm-hmm. there are right ways to build. Well, obviously, we're Marvel fanboys to... and not DC fanboys. I Even love I own the fucking there's, giant ass omnibus DC. of Grayson back here. There's ways DC. to there's ways to bring stuff together and to to just all, everybody to just enjoy things and to build up on that that love. And, and, and then there's ways where you, you don't really get it. You know, I mean, they and, literally could have shot for shot done an update with improved visuals and everything of the 95 movie. And people yep. would have gone, that's yep. pretty fucking dope. And, Different actors, but pretty dope. And 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 if they wanted to uh, focus the story around Sub-Zero and, uh, and Scorpion, guess what? That movie came out last year, too. That's the animated one. It's basically... <laughs> 
the first film except focused on Scorpion. So again, there's there's no excuse. I don't need to wait two years for Mandalorian. It was all there already. There were all these <laughs> templates for them to do it properly. And, uh, and no, I think you guys might be right. We're going to find out like why it got so screwed up. But mm. oh, and I forgot to, uh, there was one, one other person that I had to put on the blacklist was the uh, composer. How about that generic as fuck <sighs> music, Eric? Holy shit. I was saying when you said movie, you said he sent me a message. He's <laughs> like, uh, you're not going to like the, the worst part is you're not even going to like the music. I was like, no, don't tell me yeah. that. Like, because yeah. I come from the perspective, like I love film music. I did schooling on film music and all that stuff. Um, but like if a score is done right, like just properly, you won't yeah. notice it. It'll just be yeah. good accompaniment for scenes. But I sat there in this movie going like, oh, that's bad. Like that's yeah. bad music. <laughs> that doesn't I know. fit here. I, I feel bad that I pointed it out, but you would have noticed. I I noticed it pretty minutes. soon. Well, it's just yeah, fun. It's a weird choice for 2021. But it's not even just yeah, dubstep. Really? It was a mixture it of dubstep that. and like all this other these other co- genres. Like it's just a weird mixture of bad. Yeah. No, the the composer <laughs> didn't know what they were doing. Um, and again, maybe there was some interruption there. Okay, but the score was bad, and yeah, the the dubstep was weak. And their their orchestral stuff was there was no so weak. There was no centralized so theme. Like I think no they themes. tried to use the original yeah. one, but they didn't really use it in the movie. They just did no, it during no the themes. credits. Um, no. So everything was no, just was sort of bland. No generic. bland. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, everything. That's, yeah, that's, that's the, the, that's the general thing. Uh, let's talk the about the movie. Was <laughs> yeah, mundane go for it. boredom to me. It wasn't Mortal Kombat. It was mundane boredom. That's the movie. We, that's how I will refer. We to should it. talk about the main cast: the Sonya Blade, the Kano, the yeah, sorry, the, yeah, <laughs> the Sub Zero, Jax. Um, we already talked about Raiden. Um, we talked about Shang Tsung. Ooh. Were there any standouts about about the main cast? Like, were there? People- I would say. I don't know if anybody else was like this, but when I saw Liu Kang, I went, man, that guy looks really small, right? Because, like, uh, Robin, Robin, she was like, that was a big guy. He's a stunt performer, yeah. No, he was a, he was a you small know, and guy. Lu- and Liu Kang is presence. big, right? Even though he's kind of a Bruce Lee character, he's a big guy. And then I was like, man, this guy's really small. I don't know if he's going to really pull it off as Liu Kang. And then you, he has that shirtless scene. I went, that's fucking Liu Kang. That guy is so fucking ripped. I'm like, that guy will beat the shit out of anyone. Man. You can see every muscle in his fucking shoulder. That guy worked out really fucking hard for that role, and I think he did all right. I think he did all right as Liu Kang. I didn't mind the uh, Black I, Ranger. I, I thought it was cool. Uh, yeah. He's from the Power and Rangers I, I, movie. And he was really good in Power <laughs> Rangers, actually. Yeah, like <laughs> If he's the Liu Kang who gets his neck broken and turns into a zombie, I'd believe it, but not not the, not the hero of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Uh, well, in this movie, I, he's not that, the hero of Mortal Kombat. That was retconned here, anyway. It doesn't matter. He didn't even but, feel uh, like, like a hero. Like, go, going on that, like, like he's not the Liu Kang. Like, uh, if you look at Shouts the screen right now. We can see Liu Kang there. That guy's pretty small. He yeah, is, that guy's yeah. kind of like right there. He's that is not really big. But after that game, he gets man. fucking huge. Yeah. It is. It is. So I mean, if, so if, I'm if, guessing if his Arcana is going to be steroids. If, <laughs> <laughs> or would you prefer the animal? The dragon or whatever inside the fuck him. The yeah. dragon. Because, that dragon okay. looked really cool. Steve, I got, I got him. I triggered him. All right. All right. No, because you got this entire setting of Mortal Kombat, and sure, you want to, you want to add a new everyman character to direct the the, the film, whatever, right? But why do you got to make up new shit like Arcana, right? Like that's all I was thinking about. It's like the moment they started talking, you must find your Arcana. I'm like. Oh my god, this movie's making me think of Annihilation, which is like already like a really oh, bad yeah. direction. You to gotta go, find right? your anime. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> they they fucking just... did that same scene in Mystery Men with the same actor. Oh my god! What? what isn't that? that this? Isn't he in both? Or am I thinking of someone else? I, I don't remember. The don't guy remember. in Mystery Men. I'm pretty sure he's also in. Uh, I'm gonna look it up. All right. Um, but but that's the thing though. Animality that was like so poorly executed in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Except it's actually a thing, right? Like it's actually related to Mortal Kombat. Whereas. Or Canon, whatever else the fuck they were talking about this movie, it never happened before. Like you have this, you got ten, how many, how many years, how many decades of Mortal Kombat do we have? And they had to add this weird thing in. Like, almost uh, thirty, almost thirty. Yeah, but, almost thirty years. And and, the, and it's and it's so like it's such a plot device too. Like the idea that yeah. this Arcana could be a fireball or it could be robot giant arms. robotic arms <laughs> or eye laser because yeah. eye green. lasers. What was what was Kung Lao's? Was this his hat? His Arcana? His yeah. hat. Did he get oh, yeah, his yeah. hat? He did fucking teleport through. Oh, that teleport! Hell, that was yeah. actually pretty cool. I like that teleport. Yeah. That was cool. Kung Lao was good. He did He's a good Kung Lao. I, like I thought Kung, he was dead on. 
Kung Lao was Kung Lao from the. He was dead on. Yeah. I thought K I thought Kano Whatever. was the best in yeah. this film. Of course, of course, yeah. of course. Kano was perfect. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's, let's, let's wait. Let's wait on Kano. I, I want to talk about him last. Okay, let's go with Sonya Blade. She's the first one on my list. She's here. okay. Um, I didn't anyway. like her. I didn't like her. I, I miss Bridget Wilson. There was yes. nothing yes. special about her. I like the actress. I like Jessica McNamee. I think she's hilarious. She's a good actress. I think she suffers from Australian. a lot of these Australian blonde actresses look very similar. They've 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 really just like, hey, you have the same facial features. Let's make sure you have blonde hair. You know, yeah. It, it's I didn't they, mind they her. Look all the same. I thought her character was weak. I don't understand well, why she was looking for Mortal Kombat. Well, she, uh, she's her buddy that's Jax. A, that's a, that, that's buddy a, Jax. Just well, because why? of Jax. But that's, but that's the, the but that that's the thing. Like he he got the the, the mark, and so they started. Do, doing the research on it, but okay. like, where did they even get their because their squad was wiped out by a fucking where's oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. in South America? I forgot about that Sub Zero plot. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, but like <laughs> she, uh, this this movie has has an interesting thing where I feel like there's a lot of great actors, not all of them, but some of them are really great actors, just doing kind of a shitty job with a shitty script, and like, and she's one of the she's one of those. I feel like she's yeah. actually pretty good. But I think yeah. this she she got she got the sh short end of a shitty stick. She really yeah. did. And I agree. Really did. She yeah. she tried she tried and you could tell she tried, but it just did not stack up. Yeah. And in my opinion, I I felt like she was one of the most forgettable characters in the movie. I not like as her forgettable too. as Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung honestly was probably the most forgettable yeah. character, which is unfortunate because he should be the most terrifying character. But mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Anyway, he was also hard. No, no, I agree. Movie. Yeah, I, I, I like, no, I like, yeah, go for it. I, I, yeah, no, no, I agree. No, I thought she was, yeah, she just, you could tell she was trying to do something with what she was given, but she, she just wasn't given enough. Like, like her exposition and, scene was really good. Like her explaining Mortal Kombat. I thought she was really good in that. And then just the last, rest of the movie, it was just her trying to find yeah, her mark. She, she, I guess. she literally was lost for the rest of the yeah. movie. And, and, and I know that the movie was trying to telegraph and like try to project things. It's like, you need to care about this, you know, Arcana and whatever, what's it. But it's like, it, it never connected. Right. And she was one of those characters like, yeah, we're supposed to care about her because we really want to see her get a tattoo and, and, and her partner. <laughs> but it's just like, like <laughs> oh, not there. Like her dry the side, yeah. her accent only broke like twice. Yeah, only twice. Once when she swore, <laughs> and uh, I don't remember the second time, but that's okay. Any other thoughts on Sh Sonya Blade, Jessica McNamee? Oh, uh, yeah. she, that she got both her mark and her power at the exact same time. Oh, she didn't have yeah. to find it. Yeah, that was great. Very convenient. Yeah. <laughs> well, she because yeah. her thing she was had the fucking Mega, Mega Man power, man. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Master. I thought that was cool. <laughs> I think that's cooler than arm power. But it, but she had it in the she My had it in the game though hands. right no she does shoot those things in the game yeah, yeah she, she does, does yeah. she does yeah that's why I was fine with it but she has like but, you know but in the movie it, it literally like when she shot uh, Melina right oh my god Melina was in this movie I fucking forgot about that <laughs> oh but yeah when she shot her fucking like she did like the Mega Man pose like boom, like it was yeah. that, that well she me. needed to amazing. aim that was her. I thought it was pretty badass. <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna shoot rings off your arm, you got to aim it right, mm -hmm. or, yeah, or yeah. do like this, you know. This I would have like I would have preferred like the the that kind of thing, but you know, it, uh, I'm. Listen, your arm's yeah. got a lot of recoil. You really got to compensate. For that. <laughs> you don't want to get a rotator cuff injury. Like, yeah. I just don't like, rings. Yeah. That's serious. Yeah, you don't want to end up like Eric. all right. Uh, 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 no, let's go on to Jack's mad McCad Brooks. <laughs> Well, yeah. Chicken arms. Not a Chicken arms. I don't understand how he got little robot arms and then his Arcana that became was a, big robo was arms. Arcana. Yeah, his Arcana oh, was okay. Yeah. Can we oh, wait, let's, let's let's start with who the fuck were the monks making his robot arms? What the fuck was that? They, they listen, they, you they right? dimension, right? in the scene they said they have all the best stuff from every dimension. They so they probably but took that doesn't from... explain anything. That's not yeah, really yeah, they went to they went to another went to, dimension and brought no, back you're arms. Making shit, you're making shit up. No, they <laughs> brought back arms from another dimension. Look, no, look, man, didn't. if you played Mortal Kombat anthologies, you'd know where they got the chicken arms from. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was fine. To be honest, I thought he was fine as Jax. I think it's oh, no, weird yeah. that he, was he got fine, arms just from fine. monks from another dimension rather than, like, special forces. Sure. But, like, the, the guy who played Jax was fine. Yeah, he was, he was good. good yeah. he, he, he looked like a good Jax, and he played a good Jax. 
but I feel like Jax is one of those characters that's pretty easy to fucking get across. Yeah. You know, that's you true. you got to be a buff looking black dude that's just like got to have a cool like way of talking once and in a swagger while. Swagger and know how to box. Sw- yeah. That's that's it. And if you can yeah. do that, you'll pretty much get past as Jax. I will the, the, I, the one liner, like- the one liner where he's like, "These motherfuckers work." <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Oh my god! I, will I, do, I, 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 I do feel like he, like you know, he, he was he was fairly good. Like he, he was. I thought his good. acting was good. I thought his fighting was terrible. I think it's hard to fuck up Jax, though. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like it's it's right. it's an easy Even character to pass in, by. Yeah, I'm Even the one in Annihilation was fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I like yeah, I like them. Any other final thoughts on Jax before we move on to? We talked about Raiden. Do we need to talk about Raiden more? No. No, I'm no, done. Just, I'm good. I, I thought he was okay, actually, but yeah, I agree. He wasn't. Really his character. Uh, why did I, he? Uh, his character. I think made most us. of the actors, mo- not all, but most of the actors would be pretty good if we put them as the voiceovers in the video game. Because I thought Raiden I had a really cool voice. He yeah, had good voice. voice. Cool. I, I think that's pretty. Daniel was really good. Good generally. Is, is there anyone we want to talk about in, in particular? Because I think everyone was just sort of okay, mm-hmm. but not yeah. great. And then the other three villains we don't even need to talk about because who were the nothing. three villains? Is ne- <laughs> so, Nitsara, so the- Raiko, and Melina. Yeah, right. The giant oh, and Cabal. Baby. I forgot fucking Cabal. Cabal, Cabal was okay. He was no, he wasn't. Asshole. You're gonna love him. I like, what? no. He's like dude in a mask. So so like uh, Cabal. Okay, yeah, you know yeah. what? I don't care. Cabal. I want to know your a question. Character that was created by Ed Boon because Ed Boon loves the Flash, and he thought, "What if I made a guy who had super speed but also swords?" Ooh. <laughs> this is, so this is what kills me about Mortal Kombat. As I already said it earlier, it's like because Cole Young wins as soon as he has a weapon. You can bring whatever you want into Mortal Kombat. You can bring a fucking cannon. You can bring a Gatling gun. You can bring a. You can bring swords. You can wear armor. You can do whatever you want. You can be a fucking cyborg. And Cole Young's like, right? I'm gonna punch. Luke Hank's like, well, I got fire powers, but probably won't wear a shirt, even though this guy's got fucking hook swords. <laughs> like, like. Scorpion wears a fucking breastplate. That's smart. <laughs> like you can, you can use whatever you want. It's just to the death. So oh. when Sonya didn't use guns, I was like, "That's weird." She could use whatever she wants in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> We're not even in Mortal Kombat yet. Yeah, Striker <laughs> uses a gun in Mortal Kombat. A lot yeah. of people use guns. <laughs> another, another, another point for Legacy Striker in the second season of Mortal Kombat. He's Legacy cool. is using all kinds of shit. Yeah, He's I cool. don't think I've seen the second season. Oh. I, I also I love link. how in this movie they they reference a bunch of Mortal Kombat characters that you do want to see but you never get to see them. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Uh, uh, what's that the, that oh like the the Aztec god looking kind of guy? Kotokan? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There was a photo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's the Kotokan. Wasn't yeah. Quan Chi, wasn't Quan Chi also mentioned that? I don't think point? we see anything about Quan Chi which bothered me the most because yeah. that would be but, Scorpion's like, origin. Right? There's yeah. a bunch of pictures Actual and like origin, yeah. From from what I read online, there's a bunch of pictures, and you can see different characters on the pictures on her uh, her wall on Sonny Blade's yeah. wall there. Um, and I just I it just kind of I wanted oh, yeah, to know Night more. Wanted, there. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's another one. Yeah, I wanted to see more of the other characters. I wanted to hear more of like the past winners and losers and shit like that. I wanted to know. Oh, like the Great Kung Lao. Yeah. No. I mean, the bottom line is <laughs> the bottom line is all of us wanted more because it, it was just lacking in Mortal Kombat substance. I mean, that's yeah. that's the bottom line. Yeah. You should so, just yeah, go I, watch Mortal Kombat Conquest. That'll really let you. Or ninety five. Defenders of the Realms. That'll every really... single. No, that's that's the saddest part. I honestly believe every single thing, including Defender of the Realm, that really <laughs> shitty animated movie. Has it's combat Mortal time. That's not a movie. That was a kid's cartoon. Yeah, it was a cartoon. <laughs> Prequel to the ninety five movie. Whatever it, it it's still it's just this this movie didn't have much Mortal Kombat in it. That's that's it. Like that's I, I don't I don't even think it didn't have much in it. I I think it didn't feel like Mortal Kombat. That's the no. worst yeah. part about it is that it, there was nothing in it that felt Mortal Kombat-y except for the first scene. <laughs> that was it. I will give it them credit the, for the was... first scene because it's the first time they've actually done the Chinese detail. Because uh, they often just abandon that and they just make it like two Japanese ninja clans, right? Yeah. And they actually got the guy to speak Chinese. I was like, oh, okay, all right. They're actually paying attention to some of the details now. And you can watch but... that on YouTube as much as you want because they released it before the movie was re- released. Mm-hmm. Like, no. so you what can just watch it over and over. If you want. Yeah. I, yeah, I, 
I don't know. I don't even know where to go from this point. <laughs> so Kano. We were on Raiden. Let's yeah, talk about let's, Kano, the yeah, best part Raiden. of the Who dance. I love Kano. You know oh, what? Yes. Okay. This Kano and the 95 Kano are neck and neck. Like some yeah. of my, like, well, yeah. the 95 oh, like- Kano, why we have Australian Kano. Yeah, exactly. Because, yeah. He was supposed yeah, he to be British. Because that actor was British and he did an Australian accent. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I thought I thought the Kano character originally was supposed to be Japanese, actually. Like probably more. that would make sense. Yeah, oh. yeah. A lot of but Australian anyway, guys named of, Kano. But because of the '95, yeah, that actor basically turned the character into an Australian for all lore purposes going forward. Mm-hmm. Interesting. But I think I like. I mean, while '95 Kano was good, I think this was by far a better rendition of Kano for me personally. Um, he just he. he he had the right hint of asshole with enough to like make you love him. Yeah. And yeah, he had that, he had the, uh, I'm going to call it the, it's that kind of quality that, uh, that uh, Andy Circus used in it when he was Ulysses claw, you know, the humor cuts through all the bullshit and awful things that he does just enough that you makes you want to like hate him so much. You're like, Oh, you're a fucking dick. You turned on everybody and you let them into the turn. The, 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 the uh, lightning temple. shield <laughs> but at the same time you're just like you oh but you just told that joke and that's pretty fucking good oh i love you again oh my god tell me another story <laughs> go go get your okay, egg rolls now. so after watching the amount of mortal Kombat i have in the last two weeks something i realized was that all of the bad guys have very small thing they, they think very small Kano's like, oh, I'm going to be so rich in the new world. It's going to be great and yeah. sub-zero's like can't wait to exterminate a whole race of people that's all i want <laughs> shang Tsung's like Mm, can't wait to rule the fucking universe. And all these people are wrapped around my finger because now they want their little tiny fucking petty squabbles. Like, Sub-Zero is from Earth. His entire family lives on Earth. And when Shang Tsung absorbs the entire fucking universe, Sub-Zero is going to be real fucked when he doesn't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, all, like Kano just wants money? Cabal just wants money? Like, are you fucking dumb? Fight yes. for Earth Realm. <laughs> I, yeah, but Kano is they, part of the character. Yeah, but Kano, yeah, no, it's quite good. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I will always remember the first time I saw Kano emerge from the darkness in '95's Mortal Kombat. I thought that mm-hmm. was one of the best shot things and one of the most memorable scenes in that movie. And he was also quite a, a good asshole, but he was a more of a bad guy in that film. Like he was just yeah. straight bad guy. He yeah, this one guy. he was just like me. Maybe he's gonna be good. Maybe that. Maybe I loved his turn. I loved it. like that. Probably that was probably the only good thing that was written into the script. Very, very, um, not surprising at all. But no. you know, yeah. what you're talking about the the betrayal? Yeah, the betrayal. Yeah, the betrayal. Yeah. Like, like yeah. it. It was yeah, necessary. It. It, it was great, and I loved. Yeah. And I'm lo- I loved. I was actually worried. I'm like, Kano's a good guy. Like yeah. I was kind yeah. of. I was like when I was watching. I was just like yeah. there was a few moments. Um, actually, I think if you look at that, the six pictures sequence of my face, like got, getting confused and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure the confused one is when I thought like, wait a minute, Kano's yeah. actually going to fight for, for earth. And then when he, when, cause like he's sitting there talking to Cabal, he's like, I don't give a fuck what you want, blah, blah, blah. And then he's just like, you're going to have a lot of money if you come to us. All right. What do you, yeah. what do you need me to do? And then I was like, Oh, okay. that was funny. Yeah. That was a good yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can we okay. use those six faces as the uh, album art for this uh, episode? <laughs> I feel like we might have to. <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Okay, I'm going to call this the six stages of Mortal Kombat. That's the episode <laughs> title. Yeah. No, I totally agree with you guys. Uh, Kano, yeah, he was the only sort of uh, uh, consistent actual uh, Mortal Kombat <laughs> character and consistent with his own character, and the actor pulled it off. And I have to say, that's great and all, but his presence in the film actually emphasizes how everything else is lacking. I mean, he, it's very imbalanced, right? Cause like you got Eric, you know, being upset about like Raiden having a great voice, but not being rated enough. Right. You got me. The only person who even remembered Shang Tsung was even in the fucking movie. Okay. <laughs> and, and we're like sitting here pining over Sonya Blade and, and then we're all like, yeah, Kano, Kano's great. Kano, Kano, Kano. But that's the thing. He's the yeah. only thing in the entire film that is Mortal Kombat ish, mm-hmm. you know? And, and I, I, I agree. I, I was worried. Yep. And I was like, Oh, there is that greed, the, right? I was the like, problem is none of us would have watched character. it if they called it Kano the movie. I would have watched I it. I would have. I would have. <laughs> well, you wouldn't know if it was branded as Mortal Kombat. They would have never, like, you'd just be like, what is this movie? Oh, shit. Well, it's that would have been more Kombat. accurate than calling it Mortal Kombat. It would have. <laughs> we would have watched it. it. 
if they advertise a movie with that actor playing Kano and they called it Kano the movie and it was just this Australian <laughs> mouthing off, yelling at people with a fucking <laughs> laser eye, uh, 100% I would Man. throw my money down. I would get that movie in had, a heartbeat. If they had centered the movie on that actor and focused yeah. the entire story on him, like right away, we're all like talking about this as if it's yeah, a joke. Yeah, of course. But, but this is after the fact. Fuck about Cole, right? I mean, this is this this is the thing, right? We're talking about this joke of like, let's make the whole movie about like this idiot Australian guy <laughs> and how he gets a tattoo by accident and then somehow ends up in this whole like mess, right? And we're all like going, yeah, that would be actually pretty. So good. that's the thing, right? <laughs> yeah, like, that, yeah, go for it. Kano is the comic relief, and that's why we don't have Johnny Cage. And the screenwriters admit it that. They're like, we can't have Johnny Cage and Kano because we can't have Fair two enough. comic reliefs. It's going to totally fuck up the whole pacing of the movie. But because Kano is an outsider to the Mortal Kombat stuff, even though he knows, like, eh, Raiden's on, they never shut up about the fucking temple. Even though he says that shit, he's still an outsider to how the tournament functions and all the arcana and all that other bullshit. So we actually could have done the whole movie yeah. without Cole Young. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, like, uh, like, my question to you is, like, we have this movie now, mm-hmm. and we're obviously going to move forward because this movie made bank, like, a shit ton of money. Uh, don't yeah. don't, don't shake your head. You know it's going to happen. Um, but It's moving forward. 100% it's moving forward. God damn it. Well, we're moving forward. Those people. But that means the next movie <laughs> is going to be focused again on Cole Young. Like, how... Like, where do you see this? No, the next movie should be about Liu Kang because he's got to win the tournament. It's not going to happen. He's the no, prophecy is about, about Cole Cage. Young, man. Fire everybody and uh, do the uh, whole movie about Johnny Cage. Prophecy's already been fulfilled. <clears throat> Has it? Yes, yes because he yes. didn't die. Yeah, all, they, they, all, they said that. In the movie, Scorpion's prophecy's back. Fulfilled. Prophecy's like, yeah. fulfilled. What I, is the that's fucking it. prophecy now? I don't even remember now. Uh, the that, the, oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I've uh, I, it, it was it was just saying that his bloodline like would bring him oh, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all the prophecy yeah. said. Oh, and yeah. so he survived enough and brought yeah, back yeah. Scorpion. So the prophecy has been fulfilled. That's it. They're so not going to pivot point, though. No, they could, they do oh, probably they not. But, but I, I'm saying from, from our, if, if I was writing this script, the next movie, first scene, Cole Young fucking dies. <laughs> it would be. I, that would like, be amazing. 100, 100%. The jo- Johnny Cage is like, <laughs> A room and then it explodes. Oh, okay, <laughs> but it would make sense. That's the thing. If he dies, then maybe Scorpion can well, come and okay. do something. So why don't we why don't we do a little workshopping then? Okay, so if it opens and he dies, Scorpion doesn't have to come back. Cole Young dies. Scorpion goes fuck. I have to now defend my bloodline again because now his there's bloodline no one. is only it's it's is his fucking grand great 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 yeah, grand, yeah. granddaughter granddaughter yeah yeah. yeah. So, so he has, mean, he'll she, have to fight for Earth Realm, right? And She's the catalyst to keep him there and yeah. fighting. And then they yeah. can have a moment where she gets to learn about great, 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 great grandpa. And it's beautiful and sweet. And then she, she can tell him to do an uppercut. And then he, she, she, yeah, and he can do the get over here, the same time. Well, no, no, no. And pull him in. Then, mm, no, at, at the, the end of the movie, <laughs> at the end of the movie, she goes, Grandpa, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they could. She, they she could. throws a skipping rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they could kill Cole Young because they did it to Johnny Cage in yeah, Annihilation. But that's because the actor had uh, did things to do yeah, or whatever. Yeah, something like that. But this time it'll be because everybody hates Cole Young. It's just I don't even I know. Mean, what, actually, what, I actually what, think it writes itself at that point because then Bihan's gonna come back as Noob Saibot, obviously, because they need to bring Quan Chi in because they need to resurrect Quan Goro Chi. so Liu Kang can fight Goro to win the tournament. You're applying way too much actual lore. It's real easy. It's real easy. Doesn't... And then and then Scorpion goes, wait a minute. Behan's dead, and then Sub Zero says, "No, I'm not Sub Zero. I'm I'm not, not Behan. I'm Sub Zero. I'm his younger brother. Now I must kill you." And he's like, "You both lived for fucking five hundred years. Okay, let's go. Uh, Fight. Let's fight." <laughs> that happened in Mortal Kombat Nine. No, he's still not going to understand him because he doesn't Mortal speak Kombat his language. That's true. No, well, they're both going to speak English now. Yeah, both. Because, yeah, because yeah. Cole's Cole's uh, daughter is going to teach yeah, Scorpion yeah, English. Yeah, no, no, right. Scorpion learned in hell. Oh, how foolish! <laughs> no, oh, they have, well, they you have can an adult courses, learning class. You can take some <laughs> courses in prison, like extra languages and things like that. So that makes sense. Well, Quan Chi taught him the fires. <laughs> he learned how to control the fires of hell, and he learned how to speak English at the adult. Uh, institution learning. in yeah. hell. ESL, the ESL, the ESL, ESL, ESL class. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's one of the programs in hell. It's yeah. very, very sweet. It's very nice. It, it, 
<laughs> OG silent have, on. <laughs> you, you get you get about half an hour of internet time. That's those were the moments when he saw him in the mirror. He tried to fucking FaceTime. Half an hour. <laughs> listen, half an hour a week of internet time over five hundred years is a long time. <laughs> internet was much slower back then. Um, OG silent <laughs> on Twitch road. Out comes Raiden. Oops, yeah, I forgot to tell you. The prophecy also ends with you dead two minutes into our next movie. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Um, any final thoughts? I know we sort of went all over the place with this movie, but this movie was also all over the place. All over the place. Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, um, I, you know what? I, I got to say, um, this was not the worst viewing experience of a movie I've ever had. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, by no means does that mean this is a good movie. Um, but I, I, I can't help but feel like a little bit of, of upset and shame for the fact that there was a bunch of really good actors who got a shit deal on this movie. Um, we had a, what I honestly feel was a really good opening sequence that just led to nothing. Um, and some cool characters that I was, I was excited for and then just utterly disappointed in, hmm. uh, you know, I'm, I'm left here kind of thinking I, I actually want to see another movie because I want to give them a chance to redeem but I'm like 98% sure that it's going to be fucking horrible. Do you think we lost something watching it at home instead of watching it with an audience? No, of fans? yes, no, no, yes. no, 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 yes. No. Wow. Everybody's I, saying no, no, no. I feel no. like I've I watched because, it three because, times. I know the, the problem is <laughs> if this was in theaters, there might be a few moments where we're all like, yeah, yeah. Yes. People, you would have heard people laugh at I, Kano's jokes. I think I, I would have this enjoyed it by more. myself. Did anybody else watch it with somebody or did you guys all watch it alone? I watched it by myself. Nope. Uh, alone. By myself. By myself. I started okay. watching it with Megan and then she was like, nope. <laughs> and then left. I was like, but oh. if I saw this in the theater, I either would have saw it with a friend or I would have, um, I would have saw it at least with a crowd of people. And I feel like that there were a few moments in that movie where they were trying to get a reaction from from the yeah, audience. But, but moments, right? moments don't moments, account yeah. for a fucking movie. Yes. And, and he, yeah. it, no matter, I like all of the friends I know, if we had all gone or even just like one, any what, me and any other two friends or something go to see this movie, there would have been moments that we would have been like, ha, ah, that's fucking cool. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. But that doesn't mean at the end of it we'd be walking out going, not bad, right? Not bad. No. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. you'd still you'd um, still be bitching about it afterwards. But that's okay but, though. That's sometimes fun to do. But, you know? but, yeah, but I mean, I imagine I, I, Steve I, shaking with anger. There, there, the there. I, 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 okay, you know what? Okay, I will, Shouse. I will give you this. If we, all, if the group of six of us had gone see this in the theaters yeah. and we all walked out together, and you know we're we're putting down our entertainment magazines, we're walking through the sticky floor, oh. and then just as we get out the fucking doors of the cineplex or whatever i would have given a left nut to hear steve just suddenly be like fuck this no no <laughs> you know why because you would have heard it in the theater you would have heard it in the theater because i was sitting here at home by myself and i was like what the fuck is happening like seriously <laughs> like i like i was talking to myself out loud like <laughs> I just movie. feel like we're we're more critical when we're sitting at home alone watching something on TV because I, we have no, so much that we can watch. I, dis I, 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 I don't know. I partially I agree, but I, but I, 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 I strongly disagree. When I'm alone, that's when I'm like guilty pleasure time. I will like shit that I will never admit to other people. I will listen to a Spice Girls album and be like, okay, I like this. There's nothing All wrong right. with that. All he right. admitted it. <laughs> you clip that. I, yeah, but... <laughs> That's our, that's uh, our next I, episode, saying, like, actually, a Spice Girls retrospective that we're gonna. <laughs> we should. That would be amazing, Spice World. I think it's like twenty five uh, years. I or have something. some. I have some. I have some thoughts, and they're, they're all good. Uh, <laughs> I just mean that when when you when you buy a ticket to a movie, and yeah. and you buy the popcorn, and you put the investment in, you right. take the time $50. to go to the theater, yeah. you sit down. I feel like you're a little bit more invested in the experience than if you just sort of sit on your couch and you I'm just gonna, hit play. I'll give you an I, example though. Well, here. Here, let me let me give you an example of a movie that I know people like, but I didn't. Um, and I know you like this movie shows. Mm. So me and me and uh, Steve saw Re uh, Ready Player One, mm. and you know it was visually impressive. Like they're they're fun moments. Yeah, I thought but it was okay. We, but we went out afterwards, and I was like, you know what? I don't think I liked it. And I yeah, and I, and I talk said. I talk. I talked about it at length. <laughs> Unfortunately, sorry, Steve, for that lunch. No, no, no. <laughs> but, but it was good. It was a good talk. It it, it was like. I enjoyed seeing it with people like we there was a crowd there and I enjoyed the sequences that made us go. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And like, hey, look, 
there's some pop culture or something whatever um but overall i was just like no nah, man no i still didn't like it and i've watched it since with my with other people and i still don't i don't enjoy that movie i love the I, book I, though i watched it for the first time on netflix and i honestly i i, I thought it was going to be one of those movies where it's like i wasn't excited to see this when it was in theaters i'll probably like it now and then i watched it and i was like mm, i don't like this no. like it was just not there for me at all i, I was very I, yeah anyway, i would rather this. watch this mortal Kombat again than ready player one again i Ooh, i agree oh, actually no. I would. No. Oh, that's, that's a that's, that's a deep cut. <laughs> Ready Player One. What I said to Eric that day is, I went into Ready Player One looking for a 1980s Spielberg experience, and I got that from the film. See, I, I didn't, and I told him film. that. Yeah. So I'm with you, Eric. It, it did that for me. But all right, to bring it back to what we're talking about, I will I will counter <laughs> also uh, to uh, an example to Shouse. I went to the opening night of Mortal Kombat Annihilation, so that theater was. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I went opening fans. night to see that too. Me too. Opening night. And 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 some of us even screamed oh, no, when the thing went up. Okay, and we mm-hmm. we looked like idiots. Okay, and I have to say because that was how many years ago, and I wasn't always like this. Okay, um, <laughs> was that was this? one of the first movies where I came out of the movie going, there was something wrong with that movie. Like that movie was weird, wasn't it? Like I couldn't articulate it at the time. Right? I didn't know. I didn't know how to understand it. Right. I know and, this and I, feeling. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. And I and I feel like, you know, when I watch movies, I try to be very fair because there's going to be a lot of movies I don't like, or there are going to be movies that are not for me, or there's going to be movies that I'm not going to watch again. But I don't hold that against the movie. I always go, okay, what were they trying to do with this movie? And I just feel like this movie didn't succeed at even what it was trying to do. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was boring and it was just not not tight. And my final my final point is there's going to be people who say, oh, yeah, I really enjoyed it because they were in the moment or they were in the theater and, and they're just still excited about it. But I guarantee you in a year, you will not have watched again. You will not own it. And if you do own it, you will only fast forward to those 15 minutes. And, and, and my you point don't is, need is to have that- to. It's at the beginning. <laughs> or Goro fight or whatever you think is a good scene. It wasn't okay, a good fight. Goro, good. Not Goro. Whatever. whatever. But the point is that... That right there says it all, okay? I mean, a lot of people have been defending movies where I think that is true, okay? I'm not going to name those movies, but that's the truth. If you are if you don't own it later or watch it again later or, or fast forward the shit of that movie, it's not a good movie. So, all right, I mean, yeah, you can like the, the hat scene or the ice or whatever, but it's not worth it. Yeah, I, I want to see, like, alternate versions or not even alternate versions. I, I want to see different sequels than... Uh, let's do another term or let's see another person's origin story or let's learn about this other character who's supposed to beat you know, Shang Tsung. Like, I don't want to see those movies. What I want to see is like a Three's Company movie with Kano, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero living in a house together or something like that. In their neighbor's movies, Johnny Cage. And- yes! Why the fuck is there no orange juice anymore? (laughs) Kano needs orange juice. (laughs) I genuinely think that would be way more entertaining. I think I think that would be a brilliant fucking movie, and I would love to see that. But I'm not going to be excited to hear the next tournament of champions is coming. Like I'm not going to be excited. If I hope it gets better. I'm praying that it because they're inevitably going to make more. I hope they get better. I hope they uh, do some retconning and do some cool stuff. I don't know. They can try to figure it out. Chances are it's not going to work. It, it, yeah. But if they were to honestly switch it up and suddenly give me like a little weird, funny, comical movie where Kano is a like the fucking landlord between these two assholes, I would love it. I would fucking love it. What do you mean it. the dishwasher's broken? <laughs> I find it weird that if we go into the tournament in the next movie, all the main characters in this movie are really going to know everything about it. So it's That's just going to be, or at Johnny least the, it feels like they're they already knowledgeable about the tournament. Johnny Cage it, won't it, know. Perfect. Yeah, it's a right. half hour movie and we're done. <laughs> Johnny Cage won't know, obviously, but like. Because he's going to be the comic relief for the next movie. That's why they need to catch someone really good for it. The good part about the old one was that everyone did, the only per- person who knew about Mortal Kombat was Liu Kang. And everyone else was learning about it and sort of experiencing yeah. it. It's not going to be the reverse. It's going to be the reverse now. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems weird. Um, can any, we, can any... we also talk about just the, like the very end when Shang Tsung's like, death is only another portal? Yeah, so like, there's no consequences kind of horse... to this movie. 
Yeah, right? basically right. none of the, what happened matters because we can just say what we want and bring back any favorite character at any given time for any fucking reason we want. Yeah, don't worry, Palpatine will come back in the, the next two video games. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that's actually it is, that's very that's right. more, that is very co- common <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the Mortal Kombat world. And but the thing is, like with Mortal Kombat, it's a fighting game. We're going to suspend our disbelief and believe anything is possible. Sure, somebody just came out of fucking hell again. No problem. Let's fight him. But when you're trying to somehow base this movie in uh, in a, a reality, it just it feels so fucking. Stupid. I think the second that you know we have a prophecy, you start throwing out the idea of realism the way, right? Like but no, but prophecies are, have been told throughout history. Yeah, and but they're all, not in, real. In all how do we know? We don't know if they've all come to pass or if they're going to come to pass. We don't okay, have well, to then fine. Being a those. cryomancer isn't very realistic. <laughs> yes, that's true. That is true. I'll give you that. <laughs> um, any any final thoughts before we give this a rating out of five something? How many? I think we should rate this movie in Kano's. I know. I want to rate these out of metal sweaters. Um, <laughs> <laughs> out of five metal sweaters. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Oh, what are we I'm gonna do? Headed actually from that. That's funny. Hawk, you look like you have to say something. <laughs> oh, hey, I, really I've just been. Off. I've really been enjoying sitting here listening to you guys <laughs> tear this movie oh. apart like like hungry dogs. Uh, so I'll go two out of five metal sweaters for this Ooh. movie. Uh, that's, that's it is. Nice. It's not good. It's not the worst thing, and that's kind of the problem. It just sits there, it bland, not making any sort of an impression. <laughs> Hello, milk toast. Yeah, I think this is a problem with Warner Brothers and certain projects and that that have too many producers and too much people who invest their money into it and, and want to say into it and that. And so I think maybe this guy came in as a franchise lover and that and then got pulled apart by producers and in a bunch of different directions. He didn't serve anybody. He didn't serve himself. He didn't serve the fans who want to see this movie. If this was your first introduction to Mortal Kombat, would you have a have any interest in pursuing like any of the media or games or anything or anything after it? That's no. impossible for us to know because this wasn't our first foray into Mortal Kombat. Exactly, no, it's a good point though. I, I do think that the movie overall doesn't leave much of an impression. I mean, I think that's that's true no. regardless. Yeah, but we of know what marketing knowledge. nowadays isn't about leaving a good impression. It's just that people recognize the brand. That's all they care about. People aren't people aren't oh, going to remember anything about this movie in in two months. Yeah, it's a weird. It's weird because it's an a, it's a, it's an A list studio and that that's got money and that and it feels completely like some sort of B list movie. You know, so yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So you said two or two point five? I said two. All right, shows. How many metal sweaters are you giving it? Um, I'm going to echo Hawk and I'm also going to say two for the same reasons that he said it's, it's, it just exists. The movie's there and, you know, it had a couple of moments that I, I found myself enjoying, but for the most part, I would rather just press stop and turn on the 1995 version. Agreed. That's yep. Uh, David, uh, I give it three red hot metal sweaters. <laughs> uh, because of all the Kano shit, I'm going to be able to quote for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's fair. Like, if a movie, like, there's, there's way better movies that are comedies that don't make me laugh out loud. This movie made me laugh out loud. Plus, he died by no uh, garden gnome, which. Yeah. You the know. one that he no, spit no on. Yeah, gross. Yeah. Um, That's good. Marcus, metal sweaters. I'm going to give it. One metal sweater and a metal glove. Um, you didn't have gloves. One, one point five. <laughs> it's, it's not his metal glove. It's my oh. metal glove to slap okay. him across the fucking face. <laughs> and, and I honestly like it's it's. I, I feel bad giving it that that score uh, because I really did like Scorpion and I really did like Sub Zero, but there was. Sorry, I liked what Sub Zero was supposed to be. I didn't really like their execution of Sub Zero in the long run. I felt like throughout the movie, he just didn't make sense. Sometimes he was like, I can be anywhere and I can use my powers crazily and kill anybody that's around me. And then sometimes it seemed like, he was like oh, you, you got away from me. And it just didn't give for me. But um, I wanted, I just wanted it to be okay. And I love the opening sequence. And I was really hoping that that was going to be the rest of the movie. And it just wasn't. So, one metal sweater, one metal glove. Did they ever explain why Sub Zero was a dick in the movie? In the movie, no, 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 
not really aside from the fact that like their clans had been at war the entire sort time of but, like, that, that they didn't really... say that no. did they no they didn't no, he just no. said he wanted the clan gone right he didn't even say until the end that he was a part of the lin kuei <laughs> Yeah. No, he yeah. no, he did. He well, he he said at the very beginning he was like Lin. This is oh. for the Lin Kuei or something like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't but, even know if he ever said he was an assassin at any point. No, he he, he explicitly I, is in the in the games. He's a ninja. Yeah, assassin. no, I don't think he ever said that. He just said that your your bloodline or like your your people all die at my hand or like by me or whatever. Like mm-hmm. that's pretty much it. And that, that I guess if he didn't say it because I don't really want to rewatch it anytime soon and figure i'll watch it, out. it again don't worry i'll let you know you do, you do that i find find out <laughs> yeah find out if yeah. he actually says like you know you like did, that did, their did, clan did. has been at war or whatever we were I shocked like that's just <laughs> yeah i'm going back to my time loop movies better hell than, uh, than what you're gonna go through jesus all right <laughs> can i say one quick thing before we because i think if you want a good mortal Kombat movie to come out i think we should give it to one of two directors eli roth who is doing the Borderlands movie, and I think he could do a really good fucking Mortal Kombat movie, or George Miller. Yeah. I don't think yeah. George Miller is interested in doing anything that is No, but I think his... he would make a really fucking good Mortal Kombat movie. I feel like there's I mean, a he, couple of He understands word, world building, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, that's that's where we're kind of coming at it, right? Without words, like, too. Yes. yes. Give it to I, George Lucas. Um, yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> that was just to get a... Pull out yeah, of I know. Because um, I'm know. going to Steve next for his uh, metal sweaters. I, uh, you know, I think it'd be, you know, having the six of us, if we'd all been able to go and see it in the theaters, that would have been, that would have been fun. I, I will admit that. But I think you guys would have anticipated my reaction incorrectly because I wouldn't have come out screaming. I was, I was actually just really bored in this movie. Uh, this movie was really bored and it left me feeling very empty by the end. And mm-hmm. I could not wait for it to end. Like after one hour, I was just watching the clock every five minutes. I was like, holy crap, mm-hmm. it's just not going anywhere, you know? And, and despite all of this, I don't actually have a burning hatred for the film. I just have a lot of disappointment. And um, I will still say at least there were at least that 15 minutes. I'm going to keep highlighting that because people are going to, going to point at that and say, oh, weren't those 15 minutes awesome? And it was. When Jack's arms broke off, I was like, holy fuck, that was amazing, okay? All the ice shit, so cool, okay? Mm-hmm. There were some things that, well, <laughs> so I'll give the movie that much credit, but that's 15 minutes. So I give the movie 15%. So what is that? 1.5? Yeah. No, that, that's actually 1. 30%. No. Uh, yeah, out of five. One, it's one. One. Yeah. Okay. You, you 0.75. 0.75 out of I'll out give of it five. one. I'll give it one. You uh, give it a crew neck. Next. You give it a, a metal crew neck. No, 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 no. One, one, <laughs> plot, one, plot, one nicely knit sweater vest. plot armor. <laughs> one sweater vest of plot armor. But at, that's not out of me hating on the movie. It's me actually rewarding it for the things it does well because the rest of it is just like... like that's that's, a, that, I, that's, that's what, it's just that's where I am. I, I'm yeah. right there with you, Steve. Like, like I, I look at this movie that was 150 minutes or uh, 140 minutes or something. Like, I don't know what it was. Yeah. Just yeah. over 150. But, but really, when I when it all boils down to it, yeah, maybe like 15 minutes. That was actually like I really yeah. loved these 15 minutes, and some of the I wouldn't even say around. loved, man. Yeah, I, no, I, I wouldn't. I don't I, even really I, care to rewatch those 15 minutes myself. I did. So, it, like, if, if, I, I like like David said, I, I would totally like watch more Kano. <laughs> if someone could just give me the clips of just Kano's moments, I would watch that. Again, I'm sure it's again. on YouTube. <laughs> I sure. hope so because I'm gonna be looking. Yeah. I yeah, uh, yeah. I, I want it. I think that the most apt way for me to say this um, is that when I was watching the movie, I ended up texting Hawk and being like, "I think there's like 30 more minutes in this movie. And it just keeps going. It just keeps going and going." And ah, I, like the Oscar winner, Return of the King. Except that was compelling enough that I could watch it. Like I didn't mind that there were five, four. 100 endings because I, I i cared about those characters there's no one in this movie i care about like yeah. which is sad because i love a lot of these actors when I his love family got they... frozen i didn't give a shit i was like we, are, we didn't are, even are, mention are, him I, punching ice yes yes with I his figured, swords i figured they would probably survive because that's very yeah. cliche but in the back of my mind i was like you know what if they're dead I actually don't really care either. No, that might actually make him an interesting character. There's, I don't know. There's no one in this no. movie I care about. There, that's yeah. like, that that's like the number one thing you need to do in a movie is the audience has to feel something for someone 
on screen and I felt nothing for any of these people. I was bored for most of this movie. I thought I thought the special effects were wonderful. I think the special effects company should, you know, get an Oscar for what They've they did. They've probably already gone under. Because oh. <laughs> they're from Australia? No, or just, or no just... <laughs> because that's what big studios do to special effects companies. That's they, fair. That's fair. They don't pay them enough and then they go under. I just yeah. want to take this opportunity before you, you give your rating. I apologize. I, I watched the movie first on that Friday and I could not stop myself from writing my feelings about the You know what? When and, you did and, that, you did that. And I was like, okay, I'm going to put my bar way low. And it didn't even pass the bar. That bar. Yeah. That bar didn't even, yeah. like, it was lowered yeah. at that point. Yeah. Like, I put it yeah. down to Street Fighter movie level. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Street Fighter, in, in my opinion, has more entertainment value. I it's, it's, you it's sick still, son of a bitch. It's, it's still got some... <laughs> It still got some moments and some great performances, and it's still more Street Fighter than this movie was Mortal Kombat, you know. So, but I do apologize because normally I'm like I try to be good, yeah. But I could not, I could not help myself. I was so bored. I, I was just like, mm. this is crazy, and it I is. just I had to let you guys know. I was like, wow, guys, I just can't, I just we- can't. And I wrote. As little as possible. You I did. Still wrote you did. The, oh, Eric, Eric, I think. Eric, I, Eric. I think. Wait, wait. Hold on. One more thing. One more thing that I have to say about this movie is that I forgot Melina was in it. I for, I didn't even realize that Nataro yeah, was yeah. that that winged character yeah. that died. Yeah. Rico, I forgot that he died. Yeah. He's the I one who mentioned jazzed. those three guys. I said, yeah, no, you Repti- said. There was a reptile fight too. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> reptile was there for okay. two seconds. That's fine. That's Cabal. Fine. Like I love Cabal. Like from nine forward because they redid him being a good guy. Like he was an undercover guy with the black dragons. And then, you know, he was actually a good guy. And I like that they revamped him to not just be generic bad guy, but then they brought him back as generic bad guy. And I was like, ah, oh, damn it. And Hawk has some messages of me sending. <laughs> that I sent to him when I actually, him. there's only one message of that of you actually, when you were watching it, that there was a lot going on. And yeah, at the time when you were watching it, and that, and anyways, quote i'm 10 minutes in and it's awesome so far <laughs> yep that was the first fight and then yes. that on YouTube. i just i just thought it was so uh, like oh. well, 10 minutes in it's like okay maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe and then it just steve's an asshole he doesn't know what he's talking about <laughs> i had hopes well, at that point you have to watch three times so i don't know what your problem is and then they ruined I'm the theme song from 95 gonna watch Groundhog Day again. I'm getting out of this. I'm getting back <laughs> to my own time loop. Forget this. Fuck this Mortal Kombat. Uh, anyway, what's the, what's the time loop? Eric, what's your rating? I I gave. I'm gonna give it one, maybe one point five. I'm gonna probably go with one, because uh, man, I was just so disappointed in this movie. That sounds like a V-neck sweater. Uh, I think it's more of a metal vest. Not even. <laughs> no arms. No <laughs> neck. Just a vest. Metal polo. But only oh, the front. A, a Do you remember the or, vests uh, back in the 90s that were colored in the front and then like white or brown in the back? Like Yeah, every no. jackass wore one in every college movie. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Asshole. One of those. So oh. it's just metal in the front, cloth yeah. on the back. That's what he gets in this. Um, mm-hmm. in, I'm going to go to Twitch and we have OG Silent rating this as one metal sweater rusted. <laughs> rusted. Nice. That's fair. Uh, any final thoughts on Mortal Kombat before we move on? Everyone just watch, sort of seems sad now. Though. Watch <laughs> Man with the stuff. Iron Fists. Yes. Watch Watch Mortal Kombat Legacy Season Two. Is, or yeah, is, yeah. Street I was gonna say fist. recommend recommendations for this. I would yeah. say watching the '95 Mortal Kombat movie. Mm-hmm. I think that's a way better representation of this franchise. Yeah, and if if you can't take the '95 for whatever reason, or you think it's like we're just going nostalgia goggles, if you want to see an interesting, you know. Uh, alternate redux of Mortal Kombat, but with maybe slightly more real world, which is what this movie was going for. Uh, watch Legacy. Uh, I don't know why they didn't give that guy this movie. Honestly, he obviously cared more about. He went the to do, than... I think, a uh, 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 Fast Five or something like that. You know, the saddest thing is, I found evidence that there actually was a third season that was being shot. Yeah, and I don't know whether they ever finished it, but there are. Get this: they cast Casper Van Dien as Johnny Cage. <gasps> we saw. We saw him. <gasps> You see him. Oh, so good. That's such a good cast. Cast. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Watch watch the second season. That's all I got to say. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I'll I'll watch it eventually. Um that was that was more combat legacy. Legacy, yeah. The Not city. conquest, no watch. But even conquest would be more entertaining than this this was. Holy crap. Uh I I think 
With that, I think we're probably done. We're probably all gonna go home and be sad. I'm gonna play some Oculus Star Wars stuff. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Make myself <laughs> happy. He went to direct a shit ton of episodes of Agents of Shield, and he made Agents of Shield. Oh, yeah. nice. All right. Well, Fair. Buddy, he deserves to go on to do more stuff, whereas many of the people I listed should not. They should rethink their. <gasps> he also their, directed an episode of Warrior. Versus. Yeah, I knew. Paolo Montalban was Kung Lao. He's Filipino. Cool. Yay. Anyway, sorry. Well, that was good. That's a that's a side thing. Anyway, thank you guys for coming on and talking about Mortal Kombat or bitching about Mortal Kombat. We're gonna we're gonna do something happier next time. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll figure out something. <laughs> but, um, we're doing Spice Girls. Are we? Oh yeah, Spice yeah, Girls. Spice Girls. <laughs> Washing my hair that day. Episode. I am down for some '90s nostalgia. I'm down for any of it. Um. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Steve, Shouse, David, Michael, and Marcus for coming on and talking about Mortal Kombat 2021. Um. All you out there, thank you for coming in and listening to us uh, bitch about this movie for like two hours. Um, you can follow us on internet on the internet on the internet. Oh my god, I'm failing again. Follow us in person, you fucking creeps. <laughs> the series uh, of pipes. No, tubes. 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 Follow us on internet. We're on internet. Follow us on all the socials. We're <laughs> everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We got a we're, website. We're all of those. Um, are we Fly right wires. about this movie? Are we wrong? We want to hear from you. Let us know. All the stuff is in the post credits. Thank you guys again for coming. Thank you out there for on the internet for listening. And we shall talk to you soon. Goodbye. Well, that's it for us this week on Geeks with Kids. If you want to get a hold of us, you can send us an email at podcast at geekswithkids.ca. And don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash geekswithkids. Follow us on Twitter at geekswithkidscn. Check out our pics on Instagram at Geeks With Kids, and you can find all of this good stuff on our website at www.geekswithkids.ca. So if you like what you hear, why don't you hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. This podcast can be found on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, YouTube, and your favorite podcasting app. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time.